Daddy. Jack. Mmm, howdy. How you all doing? <sighs> Just got evicted out of my cowboy house. Got evicted out of my old timey cowboy house. I'm officially homeless as of today. Gonna have to spend the night at a hotel. Cowboy home got foreclosed by the cowboy banks. Unfortunately, it took all my cows too. Yeah. Cowboy real estate's pretty much gone down the cowboy drain, <laughs> and I got nothing left. It's all gone. All of it's gone. Yep. No one wants to move in cowboys no more into, into really anywhere. Just don't really need them anymore. It's time to finally hang up my hat. My 20 gallon hat. It's time to fi finally time to toss this old piece of shit hat in the, in the bag, in the garbage bag. Uh, sorry, I was actually stalling while I drank something. Alright. Ah, that was easy. Hell yeah. I was just, I was just like fucking saying that shit while I was in the middle of like chugging like a protein drink. Now I'm really here. <laughs> Up until now, you were just getting the stall. Now you're, now I'm really here. I got sent this game today by the dev. Uh, a few days early, so I thought I'd play it. Uh, it's made by the guy who made uh, the uh, Dead Cedar game, and it steals, which are both very good horror games that I really liked. This one seems to also follow a lot of the same stuff, with a little bit more comedy drizzled in here and there. So uh, we'll see if uh, we'll see if it's good. We will see, and if it sucks, you know what I mean. But it probably, it probably won't. Probably be good. I hope it sucks, people. Happy wide. Nice hair you got today, tomato. I always have to go check and make sure whenever someone says something weird like that that like my camera's not on. But thank you. It is nice today. I got the game early. I wouldn't be playing it so close to its release if it was just the demo. You think I'm a fucking sicko? The game comes out in like two days. You think I'm stupid? Drink water today, tomato? No, I've been regularly dehydrated the last like week or so. I just don't bother anymore. What's the point? In today's market, even the water's more expensive. I can't, I just can't keep doing it. I just can't, I got cut down. So we just gotta, we gotta conserve it as much as we can. Who needs it anyways? Not me. I'm fine. Dude, you live on an island. Just drink the sea, dude.
dude, real men, okay, they drink out of the ocean and then use their tongue to move the salt to one side of their mouth so they can just drink the water. I do do that when I'm at the ocean. Unfortunately, I'm not near to the ocean right now, so that's not an option. I just spit the salt out. So imagine watching someone go to the beach with a cup of, like, a cup and, like, actually drinking out of the ocean like a fucking weirdo. Like, like, everyone knows it's bad for them. But what if someone just walked up and was like, mmm, mmm, <laughs> finally. I've always wanted to taste this kind. Mmm, mmm, yeah. mmm. Someone pulls out a comically large straw, just starts drinking out of it. Mmm. Hold on. I'm gonna take some of this home for later. A one liter of ocean water contains one trillion viruses, according to my microbiology teacher. Yeah, but I mean like, only like a million of those work on people. <laughs> you gotta remember how many viruses there are. Only like a, only like a couple of those statistically work on people. Those are all fish viruses. We ain't fish. Dude, I can't wait until like the fucking, we're gonna see on the news is gonna be another new, a new calamity pandemic. It's gonna be like fucking fish virus and everyone's gonna know who the fucking like first the, like the the missing link like the the patient zero was just some weirdo in like a fucking speedo walked up to the ocean and pu pulled out a fucking straw and drank out of <laughs> like a freak <laughs> like everyone knows everyone knows it was him he drinks out of the fucking ocean coughs one time and then walks away <laughs> I can fucking see it I can see it now <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna head out. I think we're allowed to beat that person up. I think that's like a different situation than like any other virus. If someone drinks out of the ocean and then a day later everyone's like, dude, you got everyone. You somehow managed to convert a fish virus into a person virus by drinking their water. I'm gonna kill you. I'd be like, yeah, let's get this guy. Let's finish this. Let's finish this now. Just nuke the sea. Well, that's when we come back to me cementing the ocean over. Why not? Simply why not? When I become president, we will. Hard to get a virus from fish if they're all under the cement layer. Finally, a man of the people by the people. Dude, I'm gonna fucking get a big... Alright, here's how we... Alright, first of all, there's too many fish in there. There's just too many. Big toaster, drop it in the ocean. We're gonna get rid of a couple. We're gonna thin out a couple. Really quick. Just get rid of some of them. There's just too many. Get rid of them. Once we've taken care of that, okay. But fish pollinate the sea flowers, dude. What are you, stupid? <laughs> what are you, dumb? There ain't no flowers in the sea, idiot. There's coral. And everyone knows sea bees pollinate coral. All right. 
Everyone knows about CBs. Who pollinates the kelp? I don't care, is the answer. That's, I just don't care. If I cared, I'd mosey on over to a library. But I'm not gonna. I don't have a library card, alright? I fucking said it. I haven't, and I never will. That's right. I don't plan on getting one. Ever. Because every time... Because I don't need it. All right, I don't need one. One bit for your card. They don't charge you for a library card, I don't think. I think it's kinda, I don't even know because I've never gone. If someone, if I did walk in the library and they said it's gonna cost you $20 to get a card, I'd laugh in their fucking face and then leave again. So it better be free. I shouldn't need your bits for that. It better be free. <laughs> or I'll laugh in their face. Hey, Zeno Icewind, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. It's free. Taxes go burr. Can I go can I go on my taxes and say don't put any of this towards the paper books? And just they, they just will stop making me pay extra for that because honestly, dude, and I know this might piss some people off. Uh, I just do not care about that library in my town. I just don't care. I just don't care. It's in an annoying spot, it gets in the way. Do not care. It's got a pretentious name. I don't give a fuck about it. Get it out of here. I will personally make sure my money does not help them. <laughs> don't spend my taxes on roads anymore. <laughs> Dude, let me, let me say where I want it to go. You know, I bet that'd make a lot of people a lot happier with their tax situation. I don't like roads, nor do I care. Get rid of the sidewalks. I won't pay for them. I do not care who wants to walk on them. Make them use the grass like wild animals. Damn it. I don't even use roads. <laughs> Says here this guy, uh, we got the taxes for that guy. Uh, says here he wants all of his taxes to go to getting dogs into college. Why did we leave an other, like, box on the taxes? Why did we leave a box for other? They have to. They legally have to. They have to spend all of my taxes sending dogs to college. <laughs> That's how I get back at Tomato Fortnite, dude. <laughs> I make sure that on my, like, fucking, my taxes this year, it says all of this has to go to dogs going to college. Now! He's obsessed. <laughs> He's obsessed. This guy's a freak. Loophole, other, all my taxes have to promote Tomato, the streamer. That's a little too close. I think they catch on. Now, if I was actually quietly also the owner of a charity for getting dogs sent to college, but that was all front, and all the money was actually siphoned back to my promotional material, then maybe we're cooking with gas. Maybe then we're cooking with gas. Money laundering is fun, and I love it. My streamer hates people. What have they done for me lately? All right. <laughs> what, what have they done for me lately? 
give you money? I look over at my notifications tab. It's a lot of people throwing me one cent, which I don't think ever gets to my pocket. I really don't think single bits get to my pocket. I don't think those ever get to me. The Death Rage has officially changed the game. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very kind. Yeah, I mean, giving people one cent on Twitch is like walking up to them, dropping a penny on the ground, and then just kind of pouring acid all over it, and, and then going, LOOK AT IT! LOOK AT WHAT'S HAPPENING! And, and then everyone has to watch as it just melts away. Don't spend it all in one, pe in one place, dude! Steven Kapow, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Zeno Icewind, thanks for the 500 bits. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now say it. Say my name. As I'm like getting fucking like my eyes are watering. I'm starting to black out from the fumes of the acid. Say it. Say it now. Look at what I've done for you. You good, bro? I'm fine, dude. I'm fine, dude. I'm fine. I have I have realized that as uh as I've gotten more adjusted to like waking up at around noonish every day, got a lot more like fucking gobliny. You know what I mean? I definitely have a lot more goblin energy. Like I'm a lot more like fucking. <laughs> Know what I mean, dude? I, I know you have no visual to go off of what I just did right there, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's the vitamin D. Yeah, I think it might be. We started to steal pots and pans. Sorry, the largest bits I have are ones. <laughs> I say throwing them at your face like a spray of hot fuck shot out of a shotgun. <laughs> oh, you guys have been funny the last couple of days. I gotta give you some credit. I, I, the last couple intros, I feel like I've laughed a lot. Magic Turtle 12, thank you for the 10 uh, gifted subs. Thank you very much. Timmy Uni Dearest, thanks for the two gifted subs as well. So, Chad, I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow, which means I will have almost been streaming for an entire week straight, which is, it's been a long time since I've done that. Uh, which means, of course, after that, I'm going to leave for two to three days. Mm hmm Yeah, that's right. A a which means immediately afterwards, I fuck off. Uh, for two to three days. Which means I'll be back on either Tuesday or Wednesday. See you tomorrow. Sunday off because of Godforged. Monday off. Because none of your goddamn business. And then Tuesday off. Because none of your goddamn business. As in... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just not going to be here. All right. What will we do? None of my goddamn business, to be frank. Such a reliable streamer. Well, I'll try. I'll try. Look, look, here's the thing. Okay, you don't always know if I'm going to stream on a specific day. My daily schedule is kind of iffy all the time. What you do always know is that I will likely start within a window of 3 to 4 p.m. any day. Which means if you just come by in that window, you will know instantly and then you can fuck off again. You know? 
Like that's that's the thing I do make sure I do. I never like start super super early or super super late and confuse people. I always if I miss that hour mark, I just don't stream, dude. <laughs> you get you get one of the two expectations of a schedule, which is the time, not the day. Although I've been much more on time since uh since my my sleep schedule changed. You gotta give me some credit on that. I've uh, been starting pretty much exactly when I've said, or within five minutes or so, uh, at 3 p.m. every day this week, pretty much. Aside from one day when I had to start later because something happened. That sounds like a job. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Daylight Savings is ruining my streamer. Congress, move it now. Didn't they, like, put out a thing where they said, instead of undoing Daylight Savings and uh, and stopping, kind of just confusing the world, we will instead make it permanent forever. We will make it the more complicated of the two options we could have done. We will make it forever. This will be the new world we live in, as say us. The Senate and Congress... Yes. It hasn't passed yet, but who knows? Maybe it will. It's just like, it's one of those things where it's like, who the fuck out there is going to take a stand against getting rid of it? Like, what kind of chaotic motherfucker? You better have some insane fucking policies if you come out and you say... I think there's one thing we can all agree on. Politics aside, if someone comes out and says... I, re I hate <laughs> daylight savings time and the removal and reintroduction of it day every year is a tradition of our people and I will not stand for making it a permanent thing. There is a purpose for having it removed. Someone does that, they must be unhinged. <laughs> they must be actually crazy. Hey, the sock mask. Thanks for the 25 goddamn gifted subs. Dude, chat, I actually checked something. I, I checked out of genuine curiosity because I wanted to, I, I just want to know because we've been doing like the top 1,000 streamer bit. I checked based off of my subscriptions where I was in comparison to everyone else on the site the other day. It's everyone's chance now to guess without looking it up. <clears throat> Whether I've gone up or down <clears throat> in the top 500 streamer or top streamer of all time competition for uh, major uh, for gift for amount of subs uh, is the one I was able to check down 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 which technically means up I'm assuming down means I I'm assuming by down you mean I've gone down as in like I'm in the top 300 now or like 400 or 500 or does down mean up up mean down it's confusing when it's like a top of something. Uh, I'm guessing down. Down is bad, up is good. We'll say down is bad, up is good. Up means better. How does down mean up? Because if you're going down in numbers, that means you're getting closer to one, idiot. So down means larger number. Believe it or not, chat, I've gone up. Gone up a little bit. A little bit. I only checked it because I was like genuinely curious, and uh, when I was looking, I couldn't find myself. Like, I don't look at my analytics for anything. Like, for the record, I only found out I, like, I didn't know I was in the top fucking 300 or whatever until that fucking leak came out. Like, I just didn't care. And I went on it to look because we were like all goofing around about it, and I couldn't find myself anywhere, anywhere. And it's because, like, the site I was using didn't recognize how many subscribers I had, apparently. And I thought I had, like, a thousand subscribers for a second. I was like, wait, am I just, like, what happened? Like, am I crazy? Like, I, the, mathematically, I see way too much happening for me to only have a thousand <laughs> subscribers, including gifted subs. I was really confused. Elden Ring hard, dude. <laughs> 
No, I just didn't. I just didn't recognize it. We're at like, we're at like forty-seven or forty-eight hundred subscribers or something like that, which is where I'm quite happy with being. Uh, more than that is when chat starts to get uh, crazy. Anyways. Which puts me at like mm, top like 260 or so of Twitch. So I've gone up, motherfucker! I've gone up 14! I climb. Ever higher. Are you ahead of Tomato Fortnite? Don't even bother asking that. You know I'm not. That's like, that's just gonna make me cringe. I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. Though I will say one thing I do need to do is um, top two, 259 actually. Hang on. I can actually check now because the website I was using said it would like update me officially uh, after I let it like recognize that I told it to update it. So maybe now I will appear officially because I had to like sort of estimate it before. I'm not going to check ever again, but at least then we can all rest, uh, we can all rest assured that I have not, I have not dropped down to a uh, top uh, 220,000 yet. Yet. Oh yeah, I'm 259. Nice. I've been going up. Yeah, you know how it is. Kind of epic, dude. Hell yeah. Thanks, chat. A lot of that is, uh... We actually have, like, a pretty significant spread of, like, a little bit of everything. So, thanks. It's not just like, hey, people gifting subs. It's, like, a lot of, like, a bit of everything. And that, that, that... And that's the kind of stuff I notice is, like, you know, that it's not just like, hey, it's not just people gifting subs. Or it's not just this or just that. It's, like, a bit of everything. Which is what I like to see. I really appreciate it. Also, I think I got... I think I'll have 100,000 subscribers on the Trash channel today. Which I'm not also really not checking very carefully, but... 99.8k. Yeah, probably next day or so. And then I'll have two plaques! And then I'll have... You see, the thing is, when you have one, it's like, wow, that's a nice accomplishment. Two is like, oh, so you couldn't get the gold one? Why didn't you get the gold one? Why do you have two of the silver one? Why didn't you get the gold one? Two second places, huh? <laughs> kind of embarrassing. Kind of embarrassing. A lot of, a lot of silver build up in this room, huh? <laughs> two seconds makes a first, right? What are you, dumb? <laughs> Sorry, that was, that was me. That was me. Sorry. I was trying to be nice to you. Yeah, you added like a smile, which kind of like confused me. Sorry. Another day at the silver mines. You know, one day I'll do a chat stream, like a stream where I just say, like, I have to gift subs whenever I mean to chat. And, like, make a game out of it. Because I truly do believe I won't be able to help myself. That would put you at the top 150. Look, chat, here's something a lot of people I don't think realize about... The difference between where I am and the top 100 people on Twitch. Okay. Because, like, we can all goof around and say, Dude, you'll be at top 100 in no time. I don't even fucking entertain the thought of that. In order for me to get to the top 100, I'd have to over... I'd have to more... Basically double how many subscribers I have right now. To get to the top one, to just get to the top 100, I'd have to double my subscribers. In order to get to the top 
50, I would have to triple my subscribers. Uh, to get anything past that, it's an exponential growth of uh, insane amounts. I don't know. I would be like, I would be, I would love to be able to say I got, I was like a top 100 streamer by like the end of my career. That'd be cool. I don't see it happening, but that'd be like a cool thing for me to say. But like, I don't know, in order to get, in order to achieve a lot of stuff like that, you have to do like the insane shit, like fucking subathons and crap. And I just don't want to do that. So I can't really, I'm not in a place to complain. I'm not, because I don't want to do the things that would get me there. The fame would destroy you. I'm actively less happy when the chat is extremely crazy. I'll be honest. So it's not something I seek out. There's like solutions to that. Like I can turn on like slow mode and crap, but that's not like, I don't want to do that. Look, I'll just keep on trying to be like a consistent streamer that never networks, that no one knows and no one ever finds out about unless you like know somebody else that I, I've ever like talked to in my life. And um, I'll just continue to be the obscure random fucker that you accidentally find because you misclicked on Twitch. If you know, you know. All right. That's what I've been doing my whole life. Like flat out. <laughs> I've never, I never had like a viral video. I never had like a fucking like, dude, this guy's the guy playing Pew PewDiePie. He's the one! He's the next big thing, dude! I've never had that. So. Like, obviously, I have friends that I got subscribers from, like, Sam and Kraken, and etc. But, like, uh, it was never like a, Damn, dude! I just got a million trillion views! It was more of, like, an exchange of viewership. I know you from a Rob Az raid a few years ago. It's a good guy. It's a good guy there. I haven't seen anything from him in a while because I haven't uh, I haven't been on Twitch as much lately. I've been actively trying to not be on the internet as much. Cause it didn't exactly make me happy. But uh hope he's doing good. Haha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the 5G, huh? Yeah, it's the 5G. Too busy playing Stranger of Paradise. That game looks like dog shit. Sorry, that's mean. But it doesn't look good. Why would that game come out even in the same year as Elden Ring? That's what I don't get on that one. <laughs> I guess because they didn't want it to be looked at very much. Maybe Square Enix was like, this one's fucking, this one's weird. It's like a B-movie kind of game. I found tomato through TTT recogended vids. You know, when I saw that, I didn't think that it was a typo. I thought that someone was like stealing my fucking content and making like, clip compilations out of like my shit and a bunch of other people's shit and I was like that's wild who the hell's recogended I like did not connect the dots no it's a typo <laughs> are you sure recogended isn't a person I should be worried about Someone on YouTube does make clip compilations to you. A couple people do. And I might appreciate it. I think it's cool. As long as no one's monetizing them, 
I am happy to see it. I've spoken on why I don't want people to monetize that stuff. Uh, and I've spoken to many of the people that do make those videos and they understand why as well and have agreed to not. Just so people aren't like going like, I can't believe this guy's a fucking tyrant. <laughs> no, it's because if I, it's because if I let people that make like clips of my stuff monetize it, then if I ever want to do anything in the future and they've been living off of the money off of my stuff, it's a lot harder to ask them to stop doing it because they're now officially a competitor with my own work. With my own work. <laughs> which, is a, which is a hard situation to get into. It's very hard to deal with it once it's a problem. So it's easier just to be like, hey, don't do it at all, even though it sucks that I have to tell you that. But yeah, I've actually, I don't actually know how long this game's going to be like. I don't really want to spend too much time in the intro today because I'm actually very excited to play it. I don't know how much longer I want to talk today. Happened to Kraken? Literally happened to Kraken. And then his audience got like angry at him for it. And I thought it was total bullshit because he didn't do anything wrong. Literally happened to Kraken and he got shit on for it for no reason. Which is why I'm very serious about that stuff. Although, I will say this, and I've said this before whenever I've talked about this, if you make an animation of something I've done, monetize the fuck out of it. Do whatever you can out there, because animations don't make shit anyways, and you might as well. Like, if you made something genuinely transformative from something I did, go for it, I don't care. Cause you're already, it's already hard enough out there. <laughs> You'll make like seven cents. It's probably not worth it, but you can if you want. That d, &D animation of Clint and Pickle was crazy. Yeah, that was a uh, Burgenar. It makes some good stuff. I, uh, I hope at some point I'll see them make something, uh, for the new group. It's really cool, but, uh, obviously animation takes a long time, and all I can do is say, Golly, I hope that person's willing to put 10,000 hours of work into making something, uh, for absolutely free off or something that I put no effort into doing myself. Golly. Wow, that'd be neato. <laughs> Hey chat, you guys want to play this like scary cowboy game now? A little early, a little early, a little early. I just don't, I just want to play it, dude. I just want to, I just want to, are there horses? I don't fucking know. I don't care about those big hands. Which by the way, as I always say, whenever horses come up, horses are merely big hands. Their feet are closer to big fingers with nails on the end than they really are to hands or paws or anything. They're animals with four fingers. Simply four fingers. And the head is the thumb. <laughs> oh. All right, let's see if the game's audio is working today. And by game's audio, I mean my entire computer's audio. Wait, 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 wait! I did not process that I stepped out of the train until it was far too late to get back onto the train.
At least I'm very fast. I move very, you move very fast in this game. <laughs> This isn't even a stop, it's a road. I mean, it, it's just the light. Maybe I can just follow them. Nope, there's an invisible wall. Maybe I can go back this way. Nope. Well, <laughs> I got places to be, it's late. Hello? And the one there. Oh. I want to grab. I've been having a bad day ever since I got evicted out of my cowboy house. Hello? I thought I heard something. Ah! I'll use this to light the way. For now. Hep, hep, hep. Can you imagine this wasn't supposed to be the normal move speed? V-Sync's on, so it's definitely what it is. Ha ha, he's at resolution 800 by 600. This guy's resolution sucks. Was he playing on an iPad? I'm gonna make that joke again every time, dude! 600p streamer! Hello? Damn flashlight went out. Oh my god, so much charge with this thing. For the record, this game's made by the Dead Seater and, um. Uh, it steals dev. Oh, very high expectations going in for this. Hello? What was that sound? Must have been nothing. Might be able to hang out. <laughs> here for the actually I could probably get this door on the fucking thing. Might be able to hang out here for the night. <laughs> we can live here. This place will do us good. Door works. Not a problem. Let's clear out some of this crap. Shit. Wondering where everyone is. What with all these lights, you'd think there'd be someone around. Flashlight just sucks. What in the hell? What just happened? Just... Well, it looks like we found a hotel. That sounds good for me. I'm gonna mostly on over. Um, how do I? I don't know how to. No! You know, this place is a lot less spooky on the outside, actually. Mario! Mario? Mario! <laughs> you in here? Why don't you... <clears throat> Why don't you come on out? Oh? 
Why, hello and welcome! To the Upturned Inn! Would you like to book a stay? Yes, and your name is Mr. Ta Mto, is that right? Well, that's a strange name, but you do look like a strange little man. Oh. Ah, you already have a reservation? Of course, I should have known you did, because everyone does. You just dropped it. Your room is on floor 1343, room number 1343-14! Don't worry, you can take the end of it. In fact, there's no stairs. It's not, it seems like a fire hazard. You shouldn't... Well, you have a... You have a mighty fine day, then. Is there a way I can, like, tip my hat? I don't think so. I wish there was, though. Hang on. Settings. I kind of want to check. No. I don't know. Damn it. I just want to be able to tip my hat at people. Am I guy dancing there for a second? Right, I'm going to take a look around. Because he did say there were no stairs, but there's stairs right here. Dead end. Oh, the dead end. All right, I'll play your game for now. Oh. You have a mighty fine day there. I'm gonna mosey on over to my room. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. You may call me Ick. Ick? Just Ick? I'm the founder of this establishment. As such, I take personal concern for your pleasure and safety. Ick. I can't, like, fucking grab some of his stuff, goddamn, whatever. All right, well, that's very nice of you to say. I'm gonna be taking this chair with me. I like it very much, and it's mine now. You have a good day, ick. What floor was I? I don't remember. I actually don't remember what- I don't remember what floor I was. Alright. <gasps> thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People were clapping. <laughs> the folks loved it. Alright, floor three, four. We're gonna be on this fucking elevator for a while, so we might, might as well make themselves comfortable. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. What floor was I? Thirteen forty-three. God fucking damn it! I don't even know if this machine gets there. What? Huh? What's happening? What's that? Floor thirteen. Floor thirteen. Why is it tipping? Uh, uh... Ick! My chair! Ick! Ick! Mario! Ma... Good thing I packed this thing. We're gonna have to... Bust our way out of here. Oh, Jesus! Oh! Oh, oh Jesus! Help me! Stop that now! All right. Took care of it. I'm gonna call, hang on, everyone shut up. Hello, Mr. Ta, are you there? Uh, yes, yes I am. No. Ah, very funny, sir. Is everything fine down there? I heard an unholy screeching from the elevators and I couldn't tell if it was you or the cables. And coincidentally, at the same time, I looked out through the front windows and saw another small strike of lightning. I haven't seen a storm since, well, help me! <laughs> help! Ah, yes, right, you're still in the elevator. Let me see, I have an app for this exact scenario. It'll show me a 3D diagram of the elevator's current position. Oh my! Mr. Mto, the elevator's sideways! Help me. I, I know. 
Well, it appears to me the hoist cable was caught by a very large steel beam, and strangely, the elevator has lost power. Strange. This hasn't happened before. How strange. Help me! Yes, of course, I'm very sorry to ask so much of one of my guests, but sir, could you locate the power box within the elevator and open it up? It should be high somewhere. You'll have to jump and grab at the same time. It may be dark in there. Remember, if you brought a flashlight, you can press F or X to use it, as everybody knows. Oh, shut the fucking... Ugh! I got it. Uh... I'm going to call my phone. As I thought, the plug is fried. I suppose it's true. I haven't switched it out in several hundred years. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Mto, please calm down. This is all covered in the manual. We just have to follow procedure. Which floor are you on? 15? I may be able to open the elevator doors. Could you go out and see if you can find a new and shiny power plug, then bring it back and put it in? I'm terribly sorry to ask so many favors of one of my guests. It's unprofessional, but this is all I can do. I, I can do that. Okay, I'm going to open the doors. Just wait, it might take a moment. Floor 13. No one's been alive on this floor. This ain't floor 15, this is floor 13. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! This is bad! That's bad luck! That's not good. How many years is that? Oh my god, there's another... Seven? That's fine. Just be careful not to do anything else. Like, break these lovely plates. Let's steer clear of that crap. It's fine. Hello? Door appears to be fastened tightly. We'll just go around this. Was that fucking... Was that fucking... Crows or like ravens? Hmm, <laughs> it looks like the guests on floor 13 spilled some salt. Huh? I'm not sure, but I think that means good luck. All right, well, that sounds fine by me. Oh, what's this? I got a fuse. I got the fuse. Ick. It's Firehawk. I got the fuse. <laughs> That's gonna be my call sign. Yeah. I'm dancing. And my light's off. And I forgot my call sign. And I don't- <laughs> Shit! The mirrors! I thought this was a window! That's bad luck. Oh, all of them broke. That's worse luck. It's fine, chat. We'll just <clears throat> go over that. And we're here, no problem. 413 was nothing. Plug it in, and let's get the hell out of here. Don't need none of this. Yep. Oh, Jesus! Oh! <laughs> I'm all right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh! <laughs> What? Yo, there it is, dude. There it is. Did you see that? Did you see the score I got? Did you see? Floor 28. I think I'm dead. <laughs> I like that they kept the chair. The chair is... <clears throat> I'm alive. I'm alive. The chair's fine. I'm keeping this thing. All right.
The chair's constantly here, which I wasn't expecting. Ah, hello, finally you picked up Mr. Taz. the elevator working? No, it knocked me out. Well, my readings show the elevator is moving up at a steady elevator-like pace without rotating sideways or upside down. You seem to have done it. At this rate, you'll be on floor 1434 in no time. Wasn't my floor 1343? <laughs> Am I in trouble? Am I going to the wrong floor? <laughs> Say, you should put me on speaker. Did you do it? Ah, good. Yeah, I did. That was very, that was all very strange, but I hope you'll still give us a good rating. Okay. When you get to your room, you'll see, you will see my hotel is really at the pinnacle of luxury. <laughs> Trust me, you can forget all about that. Did something happen? <laughs> no, 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 not again. Mr. Mto, did the elevator break again? Yes. Well, that's a hop up. What number is that? Ah, 34. Well, that's a maintenance floor. Shouldn't be. You shouldn't be in danger there. I mean, why would you be in danger there? What? I'll open the elevator doors, head in, and see if you can find a power plug. No, this is your problem. I, uh, did, you, did you just say no? Well, unfortunately, sir, there's nothing else I can do to help. Literally, all I can do is open the elevator doors for you. I'm opening the doors. Oh, this floor sucks, Ick. Where's my chair? Oh, there it is. We'll keep that there. Ah, you decided to leave the elevator. That's great. Ah. I'm keeping this. Oh. I, you owe me. Whoa. You may be wondering why we have an electric power plant in our fine establishment. Well, the hotel goes so high, we have to get electricity up there somehow. <laughs> Ow! Okay, it's electrical. We now know. Well, I don't really want to go that way. Careful, that's a dangerous object. Put it down carefully. I literally don't know how. Oh my golly, what a firework! It's it in tow, your limbs still attached. To gently drop objects, look down fully before letting go. All right. <laughs> it's not really you know, more gentle, it's just, it doesn't get thrown. It's kind of still furious, to be honest. I'm in. that plug. <sighs> spend all that time, spend all that time wrangling cows. Of course I'd be able to do this. Of course I would. Don't know exactly where I'm going, but uh, you know, I can figure it out. There it is, plug. We got it. I'm not forklift certified. I know I'm not forkl forklift certified. That's why I didn't use the forklift. All right, well, we got the plug. Floor uh, 37 was fine. No problem. Put that bad boy back in. Fix the elevator. We're out of here. Congratulations, chat. We made it out of the floor. We're going to get a good rating. Fuck you. There it is, baby. That's a P plus. That's a P plus. I like how it is adding more things into my elevator whenever I take something. We'll take something off floor. We gotta get rid of this box. No, we'll keep the box. Did it just break again? At 440. How many times is gonna happen, old man? Just open the doors. Open the doors now. Just open the doors. Yes, right. Sorry for the uh, inconvenience, Mr. Mto. Opening the doors. Now, what kind of fresh hell are we gonna deal with this time? Some kind of, some kind of electrical problem? Some kind of windows breaking? 
It's kind of lever I have to pull. It's not working. Now you're gonna piss me off. You do that one more time. Some of our guests are very serious about their security. I can tell. You've gone to great lengths to make them comfortable. Mm, I'll just check this box here and... Okay, I just wanted to make sure what I was actually, like, doing. Security ain't nothing to a cowboy. Mm -mm -mm. No, sir. -y. Take this table with me, just in case. Just in case there's some kind of. Oh, there we go. But right there's the plug. Just have to. Mr. Mto, are you okay? No, I'm not. No, I meant, did you break a leg or something? No, I did. Oh, okay, well, I saw another flash of lightning outside, really, really far away. That's the second time, and the power blinked. So? We don't use power lines. We make our own power here. There must be nothing. Have you found the power plug on that floor yet? No. Make sure to check all the rooms. It could be anywhere, people. They leave their power plugs in the strangest of places. I just want to see what's around this corner before I grab it. Okay, it's clear. There's no monsters. I thought there would be. Is it a horror game? It's a funny game. It's a silly funny game. Let's get out of here. Wait, what's in? What the hell does this plug go to? This is like a locked door. Wow, well, I'm coming in. Mine. <laughs> hey everyone, it's me. Taking this back to the elevator. That's what that's my souvenir for this floor. Oh, a key. That thing. What is that thing? Whoa! Back off, man! I know I'm getting called. Sir! I'm kind of busy right now, man. <laughs> I'm kind of busy right now. I hear a ruckus on the end of the line. There's something wrong. It's like, a, it's like a monster, like some kind of goblin or something. Maybe a ghoul is uh, attacking me. Oh my, is Lawrence harassing you? His name's Lawrence. He's one of my other guests, Mr. Into. I apologize greatly. Just chuck something at him. I won't charge you for property damage. One hit to stun, another hit to knock him out. Sorry, man, I gotta stun you now. It's fast. Whoa! Where is he? Now I know you ain't gonna make me do something like that again, Lawrence. Where the hell I leave my goddamn... No, I don't even want the fridge anymore. Looks like you found the fuse, now you just need to get out of there. What the? Hell just. Oh my god, Lawrence is back! How many times I gotta oh, teach you this lesson, man? And this time, stay dead. 
Something that keep me comfortable. I'm gonna be in here for a while. You know? I'm gonna be in this elevator for a while. I might as well bring the sofa. Still have to leave. Might as well bring the sofa. No, 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 no. I want the sofa more than the fridge. Plug this bad boy in. And we're getting the hell out of here. I'll see you later, Lawrence. You idiot. How's my, how's my score? Probably not great. Four minutes. 20 damage. I met Lawrence. Great. P plus. Thank you. Thank you. Seventy. Seventy-one. It didn't save the sofa! Oh, I'll have to throw it in before I walk in if I have the fuse from now on. Oh well. Seventy-six. Seventy-seven. Lucky number! Seventy-seven! Opening the doors! Oh. Don't know where my supplier gets those beautiful plastic models from, but we've ordered hundreds of them. There's so many of them, I don't even know where to put all of them, but <laughs> aren't they, aren't they stunning? Ooh, first aid. That's important. Ooh, television. Keeps me entertained. Keep it. I actually got an achievement for throwing a television inside the elevator. I mean, this is like my home. I might as well furnish it, because I'm going to be in here a while. Hang on. Get rid of this, like, fucking box. Actually, hang on, even better. Okay, this is getting in my- I, We don't need- we don't, Who needs medical supplies? <laughs> Not me. I want the television on the box, like a sort of, like, fucking makeshift table. The TV, no! It's broken! <sighs> this is your fault. Fucking see anything. I want a table in the corner. I want the TV on the table. There we go. And a chair. Yeah, it kinda looks like uh like it was intended. Let's get out of here. Exit. Still not really sure what your purpose is, but uh as long as you stay the hell out of my way, we won't have any problems. I'm more worried about Lawrence than I am about you. Let's keep this candle. And we'll grab the medical kit, just in... Just in case. Oh, cool, I got an aiming reticle. You're not gonna come alive, are you? Chaotic Wow, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you very much, very kind. Hello. Uh, ick, ick, um. Oh my! You know the stunt where they walk on hot coals? This must be the extreme version of that, but do you know why it's here, ick? Just our hotel guests having fun, haha, <laughs> sir, don't touch it. All right. Uh, well, looks like I'm gonna need to make myself a bit of a bridge. We can handle this, no problem. Nice lighting. That landed in the worst fucking angle. Whatever, who cares? There's plenty of stuff to throw. That's now worthless. Now I'm starting to care because I'm running out of things to throw. That's better. Chair is worthless. I don't want the chair. I want this. I want that. I want the whole thing. No, 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 no. Give me 
the old bookshelf now. Maybe it's too big. Grab this table instead. This is like safe enough. Who fucking cares, you know? Yeah, there we go. Everything's fine. Lots of health kits for if I was taking damage, which I don't. The fuck is that? Hello? Who's making that sound? I hear the sound of clowns. A lamp would be nice at the place. Hang on a second. Hang on one more second. Who's... Who's in there? I'm... I'm, 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 I'm gonna pull the curtain now. So you best, you best be aware I'm, uh, I'm gonna... Alright, uh, here I go. Huh. I love this thing. I broke it. Well, it's broken now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. Can I take a shower? No. We're taking the lamp. The lamp's coming with us on the elevator. That's a hundred percent guarantee. Lamp's coming. What's that sound? Hello? What's up? Mr. Minto, have you found the power plug on this floor yet? Uh, you sound tense, man. Is everything good? Well, it's just that something is approaching your destination rapidly. How you how you reckon that? It's not using the elevator. It's coming from above you, Mr. Minto. I don't know how it's going down so fast. It's gone straight down through five floors since we started talking. What? Don't worry, sir. Take your time, but also I'd advise you hurry, as if your life depended on it. You know, for fun. Lamp, you stay here. I'm gonna grab this wheel. Take a look around. All right, everyone. Remember, he just said for fun. We could act like our lives depend on it for fun. Uh. The hell's all that doing there? Maybe we should take one of these with us. For fun. Hello? We'll leave one of these in the hallway here. Where that plant used to be. For fun. Oh, oh, thank God. It's a power plug. Well, that's the hardest part of the job done. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh! Oh my God, it's a huge guy! Help me! Get out of my- You can't fit. Pick your fit! Fuck off, man! Last warning! Ow! 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 Jesus Christ! Ow! Save my oh. How do I use these things? Oh. Come on, Lamp, we gotta get out of here. Uh oh. It's the wrong way. Oh. Uh, occupied! 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 Where are you taking me? Ow! 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 My lamp! My lamp! <laughs> oh no, not this part! Ow! I forgot about that part. If I, I didn't realize I'd have to go back. No! 
All right, well, this is fine. It's actually not that much lost time. Because we know, we know how it works. I am going to build the bridge more carefully, though. And now we can get the TV! Which is good. I need this bridge to be built more carefully because I really, really don't want to, like, fucking die doing this part on the way back. Okay. That's better. Best way to do it carefully is to just do it like this and like, oh, that is so worthless what I just did. <laughs> Whatever, we'll go back and put the, the thing there and before we uh, go across this. I'm gonna go get the TV now. Look, I was also kinda, look, okay, there was a little bit of hamming it up there with the guy where I wouldn't have made those mistakes while I was playing seriously. All right, we all know this. So let's give me some credit. It's not gonna happen again. Also, this is a much better bridge this time. I'm feeling a lot better. We only took one wrong turn. That's what cost us. And we're trying to carry something back with us, and this time we're not going to do that. I am kind of wigged out about the fact that there was a giant man. Put that down. I do want the table. There's just too much stuff in here. Hang on. Chair, fuck off. We don't need to sit down. I mean, honestly, while the door is nice, give it like... There we go, look at that. Now, table. Or like this. It's all about interior design. All right. Oh my God, look at that. Much better. Now I'll grab a medical cable, keep it in the corner to keep us safe if we ever get attacked. Get the fuck out of here. Let's do this this time right. We're gonna get past the big man. No problem. Put that there as like an emergency backup angle. Okay. This only seems like a long floor because we like took so long going through it. Uh, no. Do you find it right now? No. It's gotta be around there. Please, sir, if you can, with all due respect, move those little legs of yours faster. All right. Don't worry, sir. Take your time. But also, I advise you, hurry. Yeah, you got it. There it is. Got it. All right, key. Grab this thing. All right, chat. Do we want to keep this nice lamp? No, we have a TV. Let's go. No fuck ups this time. Big guy, big guy, big guy. He already grabbed me. Ow, 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 ow. He's spanking me. Ow, ow, ow. Guess you didn't leave like any fucking like medical supplies in the hallway for himself, me. Whatever, it doesn't matter, we did it perfectly. So, oh my golly, he must have woken it from his beauty sleep. <laughs> What's up with all these boxes? <gasps> Close the scene! All right, y'all, we got out of there. And now we have TV. Huge, this was a huge floor for me. I took a lot of damage, but I healed it up. You met Fat Pajama Man. It's a C plus. It's actually kind of average. I'm not actually very happy about that. I could have done that better. Huh? Oh, we'll just flow 101. Getting a call, hang on. Mr. Into, are you okay? Are you suffering from some kind of shock? Honestly? Ick? Yeah, I am. Oh, well, sorry about that, but at least your luxury suite on floor 1434 will be more than worth it. 
And you won't ever see that fat pajama man ever again since he's ten floors below you now. Of course, there's literally no way for him to get up to you. That storm's really piping up outside. You have no idea how glad I am to be behind these four walls. Just imagine if this hotel weren't here for the both of us. I'm also glad I have someone to talk to because, you see, not one soul has stumbled upon the upturned inn since you arrived. And I'm used to having at least a massive endless line waiting in the lobby. Of course, none of this is to alarm you, sir. All the, f all the fuss with the elevator, this loud storm, the large angry man in pajamas. It's just an inexplicable one-time occurrence. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. I once sneezed a pasta noodle out through my nose back when I had a nose on Earth, Mr. Mto. Did I scream and cry about it? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I, uh, uh yes, I, honestly, probably yes. Yes, I actually did, but I was a mere child. If it happened to me now, I probably wouldn't. This is all just another noodle. Pay no mind to it. All right, opening the doors. I don't like this door anymore. I want it gone. There's someone down there. You should know my upper body throwing strength from what I just did. And you should clear out. Am I exerting a sort of stench chat? Do you see that? I'm like sort of exerting a stench. This is where the illusory wall is. Shit. Really thought that would work. Why is there vents? <laughs> Sir, it's always good to keep an escape plan in mind. You never know what could happen on your way back to the elevator. Right. But I'm sure you know that already. Yeah, no. Is this one? What the hell's. What the hell happened there? We'll leave a first aid kit right here. What the hell? We got cave in on this. Did something just get thrown at me? We got a cave in on this floor. Gotta keep an eye on that. Pull it up wall. Some kind of vent system. Another med kit. Put this one right here. God knows what's gonna happen, but can't be anything good if they're warning me about it. Oh, what the fuck is this shit? What in the I'm gonna med kit on that. Hang on, I'm gonna have to go grab one. I'm not going on that thing without I'm not go I'm not going on that thing without some kind of protection. I'm not, I just won't do it. I'm also not going on it without a place to sit because it just looks really uncomfortable. Dang. I was really banking on that. Uh, you stay here. worse like condition wise that like the walls are getting less pretty the doors hinges are getting less functional there's disgusting vascular alien eggs in some of the rooms it's like overall the place is just getting like sort of not great honestly everywhere wake up oh birds Hello? Ow! Ow! Fucking! Shit! Bird? Disgusting animal! It's the last time you're gonna take a swing at me! At mound! Know your place. In the food chain. You below me. I'm gonna need that. Alright, well, I mean, hey, it's... Oh, boy. Probably just run from them. 
I'd rather deal with them, though. Oh my god. No one ever expects a guy to huck a fucking first aid kit at their ass! Back off! I killed it with its own brother. Oh, let's grab the thing and go. Oh, it's just a key. It's not even the way out. Have I seen a key? A locked door around here? I don't want to go that way. I think I have. I think it was past the acid zone. Crows, Mr. M2. M2 wants some fun crow facts. Crows are very easily knocked out when bashed over the head with furniture. What? What a crow! Oh no, what's happening? They're coming. Leave! <laughs> Leave! My med kit's done! Stop! I said stop! Stop it now! Look what you made me do to that vase. My vase! Here's another crow fact. Crows are weak alone, but dangerous in swarms. Well, I don't see why that's gonna be a problem to me. How I obtained this information also, you may never know. Oh! They're in the fucking vents, dude! Stop. Stop it now. Stop it right now. I said stop it now. Right now? Oh, that's my door. Hang on one second, please. I got it. Stop now. I said stop. All right, where'd that medical kit go? I don't know, hanging around here somewhere. Yep. Oh. 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 It's nothing. Oh, 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 what the fuck? What are you doing here? It's scary, don't do that. Oh, oh, it's nothing. Nothing. So it's just you here. That's all I get here? Event. I don't want to go in there. All right. It's one of those days. I shouldn't go in here without an item to throw at, like, enemies. Something small and compact. Like a book. No, but these break. I've seen them break. This box won't. Alright, we'll take the box. You're being sus! I know. Hint, sometimes it's better to run. Make me. Ever tell me what to do? Oh man. Should I preemptively make a way out of here? Okay, I can sort of get out naturally. I wouldn't mind it being a little bit taller just in case. I think I'm gonna keep my box in here because they keep making it seem like they're going to do something horrible to me. Get this vent, this giant vent cover out of the way oh my god Ick, you've got a literal infestation here <laughs> all right Jeff. it's a simple procedure we're gonna take it nice and slow. Ah, 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 ah. Grab the thing, grab the thing. We gotta go, we gotta go. We're leaving. Ah, ah. I'm gonna mosey us out of this one. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
And just gonna go ahead and plug that in right there. You guys have a good day. There it is, baby. And there it is. And there it is. And there it is. And there it is. On 26. One thirty, one thirty-one, one thirty-two, thirty-three. Damn it! Oh, I'm just gonna open them. What's that? Something just crossed my peripheral. Welcome to the Upturned Public Library. There should be a light switch in this room somewhere. Can't see fucking anything, man. Oh, there it is. Wow. This place is actually lovely, dude. I got hiccups. Oh, I drink some water. Oh, so you like libraries now? No. I also don't like radiated radiation heating. Oh, or bookshelves. Go this way. As you can see, we have a vast selection of. Oh, the shelves are empty. No matter. You shouldn't read too much, anyways. It's bad for your teeth. I know, that's what I keep telling people. They never shut the fuck up about it. Jar. Tub. I could use one of those in my elevator. Wow, easy. Already got the key we need, chat. See that? You know what didn't help us with that? Books. Didn't fucking help us at all with that. Books didn't help at all. Fire exit. I need to leave. Not that there's a... Fire. What? This place is, uh... Starting to really get on my nerves. Just happened. Oh my fire! My flashlight went out. So place is one big OSHA violation, kind of. I just don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> yeah, OSHA violation. That's what I'm talking about. Why oh, my guy dance? Oh. No, I'm not Lawrence. Lawrence, shut up. Fuck off, man. Lawrence, don't make me do this. Not again. Go away! Now! What, what? There's more than one. There's more than one of them. He's got friends. Ow, fuck! Fuck you, dude. Stop. Ditch. Cool it. There's still more of them. Chill out! Stop! Stop! Stop now! Leave me alone! Right fucking now! Stop! It's a fucking infestation of them! <laughs> Alright. Taken care of. Sleep well. I'm out of here. Dude, this game fucking slaps hard. <laughs> really like it. I really fucked this library up, though. Holy. I'm gonna go back to the elevator quickly, only because I want to uh, fill up my health. That's why we brought the extra med kit. 
This is why we grabbed this. Now why the hell aren't these lights turning on? All right, everything's fine. We're going uh, this way now. Another one of those creepy guys. Oh, just a ceiling fan. Hello? Janitorial. Yep, sounds about right. Hello? Yo, gamer! Gamers! Rise! Now, let me make something clear to you. Ah, very sorry about that, sir. I'm just testing the PA system. Oh, sorry. I was about to... I was about to escalate on this, uh... This man here. For no reason in particular. Of course. Of course. Make no mistake, just because that PA made the sound don't mean nothing. You come near me? All right. <laughs> Let's just say I played... <laughs> Played college ball, you know. Oh no. All right, second key. We got it, baby. We got it. No one's gonna be. Oh, I don't need to do that. Don't follow me. All right. Lawrence, I swear to God. No, not the crows. Not the, not the crows. Not the crow, they're ruining the fucking bookshelves. Not the priceless, oh, thank God. The vase is okay. Have a good day. This fucking light system sucks. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Put that there gently so people know where the door is. What the heck and heck just? Huh? What? Light has such a literal cutoff in this game that it looks like it's disappearing. Even though it's not. It's just that light has a genuinely hard cutoff in the visuals of this game that looks like magic when something like just goes into the darkness. It's, in it's fascinating. Long med kit. Leave that right there, we're probably gonna need it. Leave that right there so people know where it is again. Hang on. Yep. I'm just gonna go ahead and preemptively do this. They don't just give people stuff like this for no reason. I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna put it inside the elevator. Total darkness is cool to play with. Yeah, because it means that like if something's actually in the darkness right there, I don't know. Unless I shine a flashlight. There's no way I can like squint my eyes and see it. It is literally in the graphics of the game impossible to see through, which I like. All right. What kind of fresh hell is gonna come after me this time? All right. I knew it. It's both. Get fucking med kitted! Not the potted plant! Not the. Not the. Get away from my face! Send your next challenger! They're gonna cut the lights. Stop it, Lawrence. Stop it, Lawrence, again. 
trying to stay near the lights because I feel like they're gonna cut it. Oh, they're giving us more medkits. Oh my god! Lawrence, stop! This isn't you, man! Oh, Jesus! There's so many things! Ugh. 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 I need a med kit. I need one. Oh my god, help me. Someone, please. I need a sign. Stop! Read a book. <laughs> it's over. It took care of it. I thought I made a mess out of this place. I thought, I thought I was the problem. Little did I know. I'll huck all those over there. I want to keep them. Medkits are mine. Good for the future. My, my fucking TV! I don't care, whatever. Who the? Hey, uh, <clears throat> Ick? Ick? What's that? Only a P minus. I deserved a P plus. Or a P. You know, P minus could be worse. What? What floor am I on? 154? Oh, oh, just a moment, please. 154 floor. Well, this place is okay. Compared to some of the last fucking floors we've been on, this one is... The hell is that? Is that chocolate? Is that chocolate? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's chocolate. Uh. Hang on, I gotta unplug my controller. It's causing vibrations. I don't... Uh, I'm not very good at swimming. Even happened to. What was that? What was that? Must have been a water leak. There's some kind of water leak happening in this place. Chad? Nothing to be concerned about, just the fucking pipes. Ooh. You anyone want this thing? I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I'll just go get it. Why? Because I can't hold Something's in the water. Some kind of freaky thing. Some kind of slug is in the water. A oh, new TV. Fuck off! Go away! Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Ah! Ah! Stop it! Oh my god! No, medically, I'm not doing great right now. It's been a bad couple minutes. When it rains, it pours. Leave. We're gonna be okay. We got all these lovely. Oh my god. Let's get on the. 
Get on the sir. Get on the train. Get on the tables. I just need. I just need a first date. Not the lovely vintage wine. Am I fucking timed? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm gonna die, so. What is this? This is a duck? I don't wanna kill the duck! I don't even know where this is going. I see it. That's the wrong one. Please. Please. Where the fuck am I even going? I see something about exit this way. Did I fuck up big time and go the wrong way? I have no idea. I'm like completely disoriented. He's still following me. Hey, at least there's no water here. Get away from me, man! Oh, no. Might do a reset on this floor. I think I kind of bungled it. He really did eat me. Oh, this one actually has checkpoints. There's no idea. So what the fuck did I do? This door was the door I needed to take. I just couldn't see the power line. I mean, I could see it on the other side, but I assumed I'd see it on this side. Which confused me. But whatever, I, I know the rules better now. I'm good at parkour. Oh, did it just open this one right here? Am I stupid? Did I? I'm getting you out of here, Duck Chan. Come on. You and me. Till the end of days. Team now. Got the chocolate. Fuck. I can't get over there by myself. <laughs> Over there! Duck Chan! Duck Chan, you alive! <coughs> Fuck! I don't have time to care. I gotta leave. I have to leave. They'll kill me otherwise. I got what I needed! I'm sorry, Duck Chan! <laughs> There's nothing I can do for you now. Stop! 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 Cool it now! Trying to get to like knock stuff around, it might hit the fucking power plug for me. Uh, it's kind of actually just making it more complicated. Just looking for a window. I fucking missed it. Ah! Yeah, I'd love to see you try to get me in this fucking fortress. Please, dude! I'm fine. You know, people may have believed I was in danger. Please, God! Please, God! I'm fine. I'm getting a call. Hang on. Hold this. Hold this a second. Sir, would you like to hear some tunes which I've made myself? You know what, man? I like supporting up and coming artists. Sure. Yes, sir, you're the best. I'm playing over the intercom so you can hear all the bass. Oh, it's making it way worse, dude. He made it worse, man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. My health. My health. My health. Hello? So, what'd you think about my tune? It sucked, man. It wasn't good. Ah, well, maybe it's just a grower. 
Oh, by the by, I was wearing headphones, but I believe I heard thrashing, splashing, and horse screaming on the phone line. I assume everything is okay? No, there's a... You got a, you got a slug. Oh, did you meet Patricia on floor 154? That's one of our lovely guests. At least, I, I think... I think it is. At the very least, I hope your unexpected and lengthy tour of my hotel thus far has proven to you just how much we strive for quality experience here in the afterlife. Just for note, how would you rate your experience so far? I didn't like the intercom blasting bass into my ears, if I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give it a one star. Haha, <laughs> Mr. Nto, what would you expect? What else could I expect? You're such a joker. You have a good day, Patricia. Ooh, chocolate. That's called that's how you dupe chocolate, dude. I duped it. That didn't used to be there. I duped that. That's a dupe. This cannot be happening to me today of all day. What? <laughs> He's back, man! He's back is what's happening! He's back, it's him! It's huge, man! I'll see you later. G minus, baby. It's as simple as that, man. It's as simple as... Chapter 2! Dude, this game says there's five or four chapters. Fuck yeah, dude. This game's long. Floor 160. How long have you been on this fucking place? 168. 169. Nice. 160. 170. No, no, no. I'm opening the Zords. Not the... The Zors and my fucking TV's broken. Been on this elevator for what feels like years. Huge man still chasing me around. Still sore from when Patricia was trying to rip my legs off. Stuff's bad. You see that? Is there a sale today or something? The mall? I'm not going in there. I don't wanna fucking die. Go this way. Nice fucking try, devs. <laughs> what? Oh, hang on. I'm getting a call. Hey, Mr. Mto, do you need any help? No, I'm, I'm uh, actually cheating the system right now. Okay, are there any unwanted hints I can waste your time with? I mean, really long ones? You having a laugh? <laughs> Oh, is this what I- is this the price I pay? You having a- you having a laugh right now? No, I'm- I'm- I'm good, Ick. Oh well, uh, that thundercloud outside is blustering again. I re I really just called you because I was ever so slightly afraid. It's never been so empty in the lobby. It almost sounds like the storm I was under when I died. How did you die? Man, I shouldn't have brought that up. Let me think. Uh... Oh, is it a puzzle room? I'm going back to the mall. I'm gonna take a sh I'm actually gonna take like a- I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Hang out with the- uh, hang out in the ho- hang out in, in, in- wherever the hell we are.
Hey, I'm back. What's up? Did you guys figure out what you want to buy at the mall? $20 off today on anything you buy at the store. Wear clothes, please. <laughs> Why don't you make me? All right. Place is, uh, pretty quiet. It's really quiet. I just broke it. Because I could. Most of these places seem... There's stuff in them I just can't... Can't get in. Oh, there's a light here. Maybe this turns on, uh... Maybe this turns on the light. Oh! <gasps> Yo! They got racy cars here? They got fucking... Unbranded. They got Pretzel Man 2! I actually... Don't like most of these games. Uh, Bouncy Bounce. They got fucking Jungle Eternal. They even have Pretzel Man 3. That was vintage? I just don't care. I know the other side. I just don't care. Got anything back here? Got anything in this thing? Mm, doesn't seem like it. I'm not really seeing anything I ever want to buy from this place. Honestly, this mall seems kind of like shit. This doesn't seem very good. Uh, potions. Mana potions. Super mana potion. Right here. Oh, finally! A store for men! Wait, where the hell am I? Is it downstairs? Ah, here we go. At last! <laughs> hey, you guys want to see me lift one of these? This one, what do we have here, Dad? What do we have? What do we have here? Hats off. Wait, I don't. I'd like to see you make me. Look up. What do you mean? Oh, thanks for the help. Last time I did that in a video game, a monster was up there. And, uh, instantly fucking killed me. Ah, there we go. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is, there it is. There it is, everyone. Take it in, the Mall of Tomorrow. You two have a good day now. Where the hell's the, uh, where, hell, where the hell's the room I was looking at, though? Poop. Sprinkles. Maybe it's best we leave that place locked away. Forever. Hey, uh, hey, Dev? Hey, Dev? You might want to, you might want to fix this. Because <laughs> I found it accidentally and then got a call about it. And probably broke my whole game. <laughs> oh, you know I'm going to use that to escape this level. Wait a minute. Wait, hold up. What? 
Oh no no no. Oh no no no. No. No no no. No no no. 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 No no. I solved it. It's as simple as that. Don't be careful around these barrels, all right? They're bombs. <laughs> I won't be really careful around barrels like this, okay? They're bombs. They blow up. My barrel! Okay, Mr. Mto, I'll tell you about how I died. But first, you have to tell me what happened to you. I don't know. What? Wait, what? What do you mean? Did you get sick? Fell off a cliff? Got stabbed? Took a bullet? Became alligator poop? Or don't want to say? I don't know. Well, that's a terrible mystery. What's the last thing you remember doing? I, 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 listen, I read an old magazine. I remember listening to a ham radio. I was cooking beans. And I was checking an air filter. I, I definitely remember cooking beans. Though. I remember making beans. Beans and rice. Maybe you inhaled too much beans fl fume and collapsed. The lesson is clear. Steer clear of the beans, Mr. Mto. Common mistake. I don't think I died to beans. Oh. We have to get to the bottom of this, sir. I won't rest until I we know what killed you, and then I still won't rest because we can't sleep in the afterlife. I'm going to see if I can find any records. All right. Oh, God. Poop sprinkles. Where the hell is the power switch? Oh, that's easy. Look, I'm just gonna keep carrying these, this bomb with me until someone makes me stop, okay? I think that's pretty fair. Where the hell is this robot store? It's downstairs. Might be right over here. Oh, it's a toy store. Look at this. It's everyone's favorite toy. Hands. I love hands. Sofa store. That is it. It's up to can I be honest, the barrel, the red barrel, just jump scared me into thinking I died? Believe it or not. It like actually startled me, I, got, I jumped. Clothing store, yo, that fucking, that guy looks cool, Chad. Look at that guy. Look at him. Oh my God. He's from Wear Clothes, Please. This place is a classic. A lot of good options here. We got it. Let's get the hell out of here. You're looking fre- Stop it now! I threw a bomb at him, it didn't do anything. Oh, 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 oh. oh Jesus, what the fuck is your problem? Oh, oh, oh. You're all freaks! You're all freaks! Oh, Jesus! Hey, stop that. Stop that now. Don't fucking kick that. And I order you to stop. All right. You want my TV? Get out. All right, I'm gonna see you later then. Yeah. That was a fun floor. I didn't find the chocolate bar though. I just didn't find it. Why minus? Thank you everyone, thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, what floor are we even on? Hello? Hello? Oh, sorry, I forgot to mute. Opening the doors. 482. Oh my god. What the hell's going on here? What the fuck even is all this? I want my... I want my chair jarred. This thing's now worthless. It's, it's monetary value has dove. I don't even want any of this stuff. Now that I know it can be jarred, why would I want the normal versions? Much nicer. What the hell's going on here? Wow, looks like that floor never quite finished construction. Haha. -ha. Sorry about that. Ooh. That was fun. Who the hell am I? I gotta get there. Huh? Can I survive in water? Well, I made it in. Looks like everything drained out. Oh, it comes up over time. I see. This all makes so much sense to me. I understand all of it. Everything, everything's working out. We're in like a water temple kind of area. Yeah, I don't want to fuck around here then. I hate water zones. Look at this mess. I don't think I can survive in that. Ooh, chocolate bar. Oh, three jungle bars. Don't mind if I do. No, I know you're not gonna come alive and chase after me at the last ones. Are you? Better. You better wash yourself out there. And this lamp's mine. I think I want to go in there. <laughs> oh, new TV, nice. Two boxes flow. Super duper no. Please. Please, please, please. That's fun. Oh, no, not Lawrence. Lawrence, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I don't have any items. Oh, five, 34. Top. Everything's fine, everyone calm down. I'm in control. He said, I'm going to die! I'm fine. I think I drowned Lawrence by doing that, which works out pretty well for me. I wanted to go up there, not over there. I can't make that jump. Hop. And. Hop. And. Hop. Keep the box. I think I just cut Lawrence in half. I don't know. Chocolate. What the hell ick is going on here? Where is this? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, I can get this. Just gotta do some parkour. Everyone loves parkour. I, I genuinely don't think I'll be able to do this. Ha! All right. Good progress. You cannot use those wires to walk. Thought maybe you could. I was wrong. All right. Where do I go now? Straight forward. I got it, baby. I think we just leave now. 
Let's get out of here. Don't want to deal with Lawrence anymore. It's, yeah, it's safe right there. Oh, cool. Wait, how do I leave then? Oh, uh, I see. I need to make a fucking platform right here. Or I, I, I mean, I might need to actually build a full stair. Actually, no, that, 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 that trampoline run. I'm dead. Never mind. It don't matter. None of this matters. I have a status support, sir. I'm in the middle of something, honestly. So am I. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that was Kurt. I'm stressed. I I've gone down a rabbit hole. I searched and searched and found something called the Complete Historic Database. There's information on every soul that lived on Earth, including you and I. Well? Well, it's securely locked down. I don't have the clearance to request access to the files. What then? So, of course, I dove into the deep web and hired someone who could impersonate high clearance personnel to get me access. And? I don't know. This news is breaking. All I know is I'm going to find out how you died, Mr. Mto, one way or another. I'll tell you when it's something else happens. Okay, bye. How did I end up here? <laughs> How do I leave again? I think I have to leave from the bottom. Oh, it's right there. Is it not safe. It's not safe. Second that goes back down again, we're leaving. I want that plant. It needs to be able to breathe. My house is really coming together. Dead damage taken. Almost every chocolate bar. What's the grade gonna be? V plus, dude. V fucking plus, dude. V plus, man. V plus. Oh, for a second, I thought my jars were gone. I was gonna just start screaming and screaming. We're almost at floor 200, chat. Opening the stores. Floor 195. This looks like a doctor's office. Oh God, where? What is this, the fucking DMV? Where? Oh Lord, oh that. We ordered metal detectors for security reasons. There was a misunderstanding. This metal detector only lets through things that are 100% metal. All other things have to go through the side apparatus. Wait. Coincidentally, co coincidentally, it also lets through a specific form of polyester polystyrene plastic, any pocket lint and ash. I've run some tests, it's very scientific. So does that mean I have to go through this? No, I should be fine. What about if I wanna bring like a... What are you surprised you can walk through it? Yeah, I'm sort of confused. Sir, surely you didn't think we kept our bodies when we died. Well, I got to keep my hat. My chair! No, we're not made of metal. I thought you'd know we're made of ash in the afterlife. Just judging by the smell. My table! Didn't you notice how your shoulder crumbles away if you scratch it? And why you think your stomach never rumbles? Oh, I did wonder why I was like all like dusty. My jar! Hey, at least we're not made of pocket lint, right? Yeah, I guess. Ah, I have to get back to important business. Well, I guess I'll need this book. Let's get in here. Thanks for the help, book. I said no ever. Nice try. Nice try stopping me with that, but it's never gonna be enough. Things jammed. I can't use it. You made out of metal? Son of a bitch. Y'all think a uh, first aid kit's made out of metal? Ow, fuck. Let's try this again. Ow, fuck. Alright, no, we need something that's actually made out of real metal to get through there. 
No. Oh, here we go. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna have to be careful with how I do this. See you later, idiot. God damn it. Those magnets are so powerful they attract even non-magnetic objects by altering physical structure in ways science thought impossible. They may even be intelligent. Well, they can't get through here. Better luck next time, you... What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? How'd you? I helped you. I'm taking you with me. You're mine now. What? Huh? How did you? This chair. Something's wrong with this chair. This chair is special. You're coming with me. Oh wait, hang on. Never mind, the chair's lost its touch. It was a one-off. Let's go. I don't think I'm gonna need another magnet. Uh why the hell would I I mean I can just take stuff over like this. I don't need this thing anymore. See? Mmm, that looks like a conundrum. Not really. Just bounce it all around it. Get up. Surely you'll figure it out in a couple of hours. It's really not that hard, my guy. It's uh, actually very easy. I think I actually, I think I might have just, I think I might be, I think I might already be done, actually. I can just, just get this in the corner here. Hang on, just give me a second. Nah, I'll need one. Never mind, I can do it with one item. All right, well, that was easy. Unless, looks at fuse in hand. All right. We did it. A magnet might be fun to keep. If I could find it, where'd the magnet go? Keep this thing. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Hold up. Sir, status report. Uh, I'm not a general. I actually, I don't have, didn't need to, need to talk to me like that. I know, but I feel like a secret agent lately, so go along with it. I got access to the complete historics database. I'm... A high clearance official now, but not really. Some nerd from the deep web just hacked to get me in. The website looks like it was built in 1893s. Is that what all top secret databases look like? So, I thought that was it, and I'd be able to find out what caused your death, but now I have to request the documents to be faxed. So I ordered a fax machine from my supplier. And the fax machine arrived. It's puke colored and it looks like it runs on a gas engine because it literally does. It's a good thing I collect gasoline tanks as a hobby or I'd have to order that too. Are you sure that's a fax machine? Absolutely, yes. Well, anyways, I set everything up. Then I remembered the upturned inn doesn't have any phone lines so the fax machine's not going to work. What? What am I talking to you on? I'll admit it. I don't know what to do, Mr. Nto. I mean, I know that this is a cell phone, but I feel like you're using a phone line. I feel like he'd have a desk phone. Whatever. What do I know? Uh, there must be something. What's that? What's happening? <laughs> Hello? What's happening? Something from outside smashed through the windows of the lobby. <laughs> Man, are you getting mugged? What's happening down there? Status aboard! Through my beautiful windows! Isn't it windy outside?
I don't know, I'm hiding. There's a light shining over the desk. It's moving around a lot. It's like a flare. And the air smells like <laughs> boiled eggs. Scratch that. Now it smells like root beer flavored candy. I hate root, root beer flavored candy. What? <laughs> oh my, sorry, sir. I'm gonna have to put you on hold. He killed me. God, I got this magnet out of here. This thing's gonna be a lot of fun at parties. I didn't throw it! No! My jar! I ruined it. But I got a G plus, baby. I got a G plus. Give me a hand already. Give me a hand. No. Oh, thank God. The, thank God. The jar is fine. We got to keep the chair. Four two oh eight. Hello. Hello. Oh, dude. You guys think it's funny, huh? Stick on me? Push me around? Mm-mm, man, mm-mm. You're gonna regret it. <sighs> Which one you gotta take down first? I know you'll never forget it. Whoa, whoa. All right, where the hell's that fucking plug? Bop! Yo, gamer? Uh, vent. Hello? How was that? Hello? That's been I've been hearing so <laughs> Well this fucking vent's broken. Oh. Sorry about that. Sorry everyone. I didn't wanna didn't mean to bother you all. I'll be You guys don't have a door in this place. I'll be getting out of your hair though. Oh, chocolate bar. Bonus chocolate. So how the hell do I leave? What the hell? Is that? Oh, for a second I thought it was like an optical illusion. No, there's really just a door here. It's just a really a door here. Give me this. Just in case I take damage later. Okay, now it's like an optical illusion. I'm not, I'm not feeling too good, guys. I'm not... It's not... Something's wrong. At least I'm up here and they're down there. I mean, I'm down up here. I don't know. Um, at least I know where I'm going. Oh no. Do I know where I'm going? Oh, thank God, the exit. Oh. Wait a minute. T. Tixie. Tixie. Ex. Exitu. I can't reach this. I need something on the ground that I can actually reach. Oh, never mind. Right, apparently, I can grab these. I didn't realize I could. Oh, that's the way I came in. What am I, stupid? What am I, dumb? Give me the sofa. Of course that's the exit. That's the way I came in. D 
Give me a hand. <laughs> Charlie Bar. Love getting Charlie Bar. Where the hell's that plug? Oh, here we go. Something's wrong with this floor. This place is weird. You're all weird, man. You're all weird. But I will be taking this small door with me. Well, this ain't gonna get me up there. Also, am I smaller? No. No, this is normal size. No, I've been here. No, 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 no. We gotta go back. We gotta go back this way. This is the way we wanna go. You wanna go this way? Get out of my way! Okay. This should take us somewhere. That's my son! That's my son up there! That's my son! That's my son! That's my son, I know him! That's my son! A racist dog! And he's dabbing! We're done. Oh, this is what I needed. All right, where's the after party? Guys? I'm uh, I'm gonna go. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Let's get out. Fuck you. I don't think we can go this way, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> yeah, get up here, you little shits. And I just got two chocolate bars. You know how long I can stay up here now? Years, man. Four chocolate bars. Oh, no. Chat, this is looking like it might be the end. These guys are going to rip us to shreds, and I don't think I can get that chocolate for some reason. Never mind, I got it. We gotta get out of here. I have a plan. It's a dead end too! Go, go, go! We just gotta go! That's our way out of here! Oh! Oh! It's not looking good. It's really just not. It's just not looking good. It's just not, it just doesn't look good. It, Tixie! Tixie, give me this now! I didn't get it. We're med, we're med kitless. Oh! Oh! That med kit getting gra me grabbing that ba the box instead of the med kit really cost me a lot this time around. It really cost me quite a bit. Oh my god! Actually, it's not really as far. This is once again one of those things where it's not really as far of a trip as you think it is, because. uh it's all very, like, I know the layout. So it takes about 10 seconds to get back to watch this. And the event. A little bit more than 10 seconds, but, uh, it's not that bad. If we collaborate right here. Let me go out here. I'm gonna put this in the middle of the hallway this time, I think. 
And that opens up the way out, which is what we fucked up last time. Uh, now, we want to go... This way. This is the way. Yeah. I don't much care about the chocolate bars, so, uh... Oh, actually, I should probably set up an exit path before I do this this time, now that I know how... A uh, psycho this is all about to get. Probably having that prepped beforehand is a wise idea. So let's make sure our box is here. There we go. All right, let's get that fucking cord. Or plug. Just carry this with me. love the music in this game. I haven't had a single complaint about this game so far. The checkpoints, like this isn't a bad checkpoint because it's sort of hard to die in this game. And on top of it, it took me fucking 30 seconds to get back. Like it seems harder than it is, but once you know the layout of the place, unless you're trying to get the chocolate bars, it doesn't really matter. So like, it's very well executed. Uh, this box just pissed me off though. You guys have a good, you guys have a good day. Okay, have a good day. God, Moody. Stop. Not looking. Scary, but fine. I'll be taking this chair. Thank you very much. I didn't actually take the chair, but I don't need the chair. Look at my, look at the score. Watch the score. You minus. You fucking minus. That's the difference between me and you. All right. Flow me on. 219. What floor do I need to get to? 13, uh. 1340 something. Or 222. Tubes. Just thousands of them. What, if the, what are these gonna do when I do this? Ow, 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 ow. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Allow, allow. Allow, allow. Who are you? What is. Who's calling this number? You will learn of me soon. Shut up. <laughs> I will never be silent, cockroach. Allow, allow. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Oh. Uh. No, no, not Lawrence. Not Lawrence. Not Lawrence. Not Lawrence. Not Lawrence. Not Lawrence. You, you better know I'm really good at this part by now. You better fucking respect me. Cool out. I mean, fuck. Oh, God, I messed it up. So what do we do now? Let me leave. I, I did your challenge, let me leave. They're all dead, I killed them all. Did I break it? I don't think you were supposed to survive. Dude, I'm so fucking good at video games, who would have fucking doubted I would survive? You kidding me? Guess we'll just have to sit here and die of old age then, eh, Lawrence? 
I'm not seeing any invisible walls. Should have added another 18 or 19 Lawrences if you wanted to take me down. Give it a restart. I might lose what was in our elevator, though. What floor are we on? 222? Because we have there's a floor select thing, but I don't want to do that because it also shows floors. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'll choose to die this time. Everything's gone. All of our stuff's gone. We have to refurnish the house. Sorry guys, we're gonna have to refurnish this place. I thought that would reach. I also thought that would reach. All right. I know, I know, I know, I know. Who are you? You will learn of me soon. No, I won't. When have you ever been in control of your fate? Even now, you're blindly stepping towards a cockroach. Allow, allow. I'm gonna jump this time. Yeah, fucking actually owned. Hey, hey, jackass. Get owned. Oh, I can see it. There's trip wires. Can, uh... Items activate them? No. Allow, allow. Hint, it's a trap. What in the hell? It's with a hell. I'm gonna follow this line. I think that's how you survive. I just don't care. Easy. Hey, what was that about allow, allow? <laughs> That was close. I almost died. I almost died. <laughs> I almost died. I almost got cut in half, but I lived. Easy floor. Actually, pathetically easy. Allow, allow, my ass. You guys think that's the thing that broke into the bottom floor? L plus. Wait a minute. No, that's the bad one. I don't want an L. I don't want the L. My elevator is sad now. One, two, forty-eight, two, forty-nine, two, fifty. Here we go again. Oh, I'm getting a call. I'm back. What happened? After I hung up the phone on you, I listened a little longer as that thing moved around the lobby. I heard it panting. I could hear some kind of clatter on the marble floor. So I thought, of course, it must only be a very unusual breed of dog. And I realized something else. What kind of hotel manager hides from a potential guest? You can't spell business without bravery. Or uh, something like that. So I stood up and looked over the desk at the strange creature. That's when I, that's when a thousand images flashed before my eyes, all in two seconds. Sir, if you do the numbers, that's 500 images a second. I thought I was dying, but then I remembered I'm already dead. And the images weren't like memories, but like, maybe like some kind of incredibly fast teaser trailer for a movie I'll never see. So then I decided the best course of action was to curl up in the fetal position for 15 minutes, which I promptly did so. I'm sure you had a good time, meantime. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, you're not joking, are you? You don't like it here? Of course you are, sir. You always had me with that deadpan humor. My hotel is really more of a luxury resort and perfectly safe, far better than anything out there. Anyway, it seemed like this strange being might never leave the lobby. Then I got an idea. I reached for the drawer in my desk where I keep the dog treats. You seen lots of dogs? 
No, the dog treats are. I, I, I just like the taste, okay? But I figured I could give it, give one up if it meant befriending this large, terrifying creature. So I shielded my eyes and stood up with a treat, and I said, "Here, you want a snack?" And the treat was torn out of my hand before I knew it. Then there was a loud swoop and shattering, and I opened my eyes, and the thing was gone. I think it might have been more like a bird than a dog, but I think it was both. So now what? Well, it smashed through the other window of the lobby on its way out, so now I have two windows to replace. What about the fax machine? Ah, I almost forgot to mention, there's a big fat box on my desk. I can only assume it was left here for me by the bird dog thing. So maybe it has like a giant carrier pigeon from hell. What's the box look like? It looks like any other old box, but this one has a special label. It says classified from the king's aides to the two children in a trench coat. What do you think that means? Uh, it's a... Uh... I don't know, I wouldn't open that. What do you think, there's a bomb in it? I appreciate your concern, sir, but who'd want to do that to me? And if it was a trap, they'd make it pretty and easy to open. But this box is covered in slime. I think it's the slobber of the bird dog thing, and I'm not touching that. What then? I ordered gloves, they should be arriving shortly. There, there, Miss Chitton Toe. I also want to know how you died in this box of classified documents surely hides the answer. But we can't be too hasty. I'll update you when I can open it safely. Opening the doors. Floor 250. And how lucky of you to have stopped at floor 223. That's the art museum. Huh? Oh, it's so serious. I hope you'll appreciate the hard work that went into these exquisite pieces. Riverside. Don't mind now. Shards. This one's bad. Color. Storm. Uh, please do not pay any attention to the sounds in the floor above you. Please focus on the beautiful art, sir. Plantain. Abstract one. Abstract two. Door's fucking locked. The Dark Prince. I'm keeping this one. This one strikes a kind of fear in me that I just can't describe. I need it. Boog. Hang on, I gotta get this hanged up properly. There's no way to do this right. Because it always falls forward. There it is. There it is. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go this way. Corner. Violet tide. I call this one abstract zero. It's one of my first pieces. Oh. Plantain defying gravity. Abstract four. Abstract three shapes. Very nice. Nothing here. A man sitting. A man standing. Ocean. Purple. Abstract five. Ah, this is one of my favorites. Booger. You could just you could see the you could see the pain and turmoil in the artist's drawing. Yeah. Other corner. Darkness. What's this one? Lost ticket. That one's actually quite nice. Here we have. Shapes thin. Here we have 
sideways, child. Over here we have other, other corn. Hello? I'm trying to enjoy art. Why don't you quiet it down? Here we have bus upside down. Here we have cold sun. Truly really a beauty. This art exhibit has been lovely. Here we have some others. Here we have fur. Here we have wall. Here we have abstract seven. I'm getting a little bored of the abstracts. I think there's a couple too many. Other, other, other corner. Oh, this one's great. Bold. <laughs> Bold. Portrait, portrait. Oh, here we're getting to the crazy part. Abstract nine. Teeth. Prickly one. Abstract lost count. Here we have key. I'll get to that later. Here we have most pathetic object. Hmm. 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 Teapot. Shy. Rare vase. Here we have optimal configuration. I'm gonna need that key. You can have it. Stop. Now. That's not gonna happen again. I got a good feeling that's not happening. Stop it now! The fucking table at the back of my head. Hey, 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 hey. Why'd you go read a book? Hang on. I gotta actually make sure I don't miss them with the book. Why don't you go read a goddamn book? They don't want him. Why is the thinker gone? The thinker's gone, chat. There's gonna be one of those fucking guys around. Get out of here. Big hands on the way. Ugh. I don't like that. It's gonna preemptively prep some things before I grab that plug. We got it, baby. Can't see anything in here. Uh, if you could just close your eyes and go back out of that room right now, that'd be great. Why don't you, uh, make me? this oh, I'm getting a call hang on I have something to admit and a true story you want to hear it okay I didn't make any of these paintings I may be a genius composer but I'm not an artist Dick if you're about to say what I think you're gonna say we're gonna have some problems I found these paintings out in the woods long before I built the upturned inn. I found the I made these. I was just sneaking through some muddy woods I'd never been in before, and then I stepped on a colorful portrait. I'd stumbled into a grand museum, but there were no walls to pin the art. The paintings were nailed to the trees and strung up on ropes between the branches. Now, I was a collector of many things on Earth, you see. It's in my nature. When I see more than one of something, I just have to stuff it in a dusty cabinet somewhere. Of course, I tried to collect them all, but I never found the end of them. As I built the upturned inn, I took multiple trips out that way to grab as many paintings as I could. I stopped going out to collect the paintings when, I, when they started looking like this. Then I realized two other things. One, I was an art thief. Two, if I kept going, I might see the artist. These are the last paintings I took. 
I don't know what they were made with. It's a dark world in the afterlife, Mr. Nto. So I give people like you a place to stay. It's the best I can do. You pissed off something you shouldn't have pissed off. And now we all have to pay the price. Take this painting with me, though. This one's mine. This is, uh, this is one of the last paintings this artist ever made. Is that bones? You can have it. That's yours, after all. All right, next one I throw at you is gonna be a bomb, all right? That's what I've learned today. Oh, ah, uh, wow. I don't, I'm hang on. How can there be bones if we've already con confirmed that we're all ashes and there are no... I'm gonna have to check this. Yeah, that's people bones. Hold on. Yeah, you think I'm an idiot? Give me a book. Give me this. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Easy floor, Chad. Easy floor. Easy floor. D minus. Don't fucking clap. Shut the fuck up. At least I've got these two paintings. The Dark Prince. Oh, 270. We're getting, I swear this elevator's getting worse. Floor 270, this looks like some kind of waiting room. Floor 270, wait, isn't that the asylum? He hung up on me. D dude? D bro? Bro? Oh no. Bro? This game has Spooky's House of Jump Scare Mansion whatever vibes. Which means some levels are gonna actually be scary. And we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to deal with that. Sometimes levels are just gonna suddenly be actually scary. Fucking flashlight sucks. Oh. Nice. I was worried I'd have to use that. Anyone living here? No. Anyone living here? No. Anyone in here? You have a good day. Mm -hmm. Anyone living it? You stupid piece of. Oh, shit. Look what you made me do to you. You own anything I'd want to steal? No. Anyone living here? No. Anyone living here? No. Come on here. Anyone? Nope. Come on here. Nope. Come on here. Nope. I'm in. Simple as that. Hello? Hello? I don't like this part of the hospital, chat. Laptop's broken. I'm a menace, dude. No wonder I'm dead. I probably like killed like 40 people. Caution, do not let the dog out. Uh, that's funny. That's funny, because it's like a reference to a song. It's funny, it's a reference to a song. That's, it's funny. Because it's a reference. It's a reference, it don't mean anything. 
know what I mean? It's a reference because like the the dog doesn't exist. It's not like. What in the hell? Yo, Ick. Is there like a dog in the asylum zone I should be uh worried about? Ick. Doggy. Talk? Hello? What the? Well, there's my plug. That's what I needed. And a pillow. This is mine. Hey! Hello? Hello? He's the dog! Oh, it's a cute little guy. Is this yours? You want to go catch it? Oh my god, dude. I love them. I'm going to throw you this one. Here, I'm going to throw you this thing. Let me grab you this. Want this ball? Want this ball? Um... Yeah, I'll play with you. <laughs> Biked it on his head by accident. Yeah, let's walk and play. It's okay, because I'm quick. Got it. You stay, I go. You stay, I go. <laughs> you, you stay, stay. Way hasn't seen me go yet. <laughs> he really likes me. Too bad there's just no space to take him on the old elevator. End of the line, little guy. It's food for you in your bowl. I gotta get out of here without you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mean, I can't bring him. There's no option to. A minus, oh go fuck yourself. There's no option to chat. There's literally no option. There's no option. There was no option. Deserved. Oh, I deserved it. Oh, I deserved it. There's no option. Well, good news is that thing was that thing was in that fucking cage for a reason, chat. That's all I'm gonna say. Something off about it. Hello? Sir, status report. Yes, private. We lost communication once again due to the storm. It's really beginning to shake up my walls like an angry toddler or an old man with a handful of dice. I'm just glad I have this, I have this desk to hide behind. I assume everything has gone according to plan for you, sir? No. Well, as long as he didn't release really shrimp from his containment, everything should be fine. <sighs> Who's shrimp? Yes, about 40 years ago, I securely locked shrimp in the most safe and happy room imaginable, but a red light just lit up at my desk, notifying me he had escaped. I didn't happen to see, you didn't see, happen to see a large four-legged thing, did you? I did. Oh. Oh. 
Anyways, the gloves arrived. I was able to open the box safely. And, well, there's a lot of documents. I mean, there's so much paper in it, I, uh... It had to be, there's so much paper that had to be creased and folded like origami just to fit in the box. It's like a dense cube of paper. And there's another thing. The paper is glowing. And when I tried to touch it, it burnt me. I had to hold my hand under the sink. So I ordered prongs. How long is this going to take? No, oh, don't worry, sir. The prongs already arrived. The red hot stack of top secret historic documents is sitting on my desk. But sir, it's hard to flip through a stack of paper documents with a pair of steel prongs. Obviously, I need to cool it down, so I thought I might try plunging the stack of documents in a cold bucket of water. But that might destroy the paper. What do I do? I don't know, give up? Oh, but sir, we have to find out who killed you. We've come so far, how can we stop now? Blow on it? Mmm, yes, yes, I'm cooling a bowl of creamy potato. But that might take a little long, don't you think? Why, what is creamy potato? You know, I was a collector of many things on Earth. Well, did you know I used to keep a pristine collection of bowls of creamy potato soup that hadn't been finished? Why? Once you get your hands on more than one creamy potato soup all at once, you'll understand. You've just got to have them all. Anyways, there must be a better solution than blowing. Who has enough air in the lungs for that? I'll get back to you shortly. Opening the doors. As long as that dog's gone, I don't want no trouble from shrimp. It's just Lawrence. Is that bump? Lawrence? Whoa. Let's try to keep, <laughs> Let's try to keep that from being me. That didn't hurt that bad. And also, I cannot believe I fucked that up. But it didn't hurt that bad, so we're okay. How, imagine dying in one hit to that. That only does 30 damage. Oh! Really? 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 Pick up a chair? Put that down. Hey. Put that down now. Put that down now. Right now. Sucks to suck. Uh, vent system. Alright, uh, that thing's definitely gonna come alive. I'm injured. I, like, need this. I've gotten the shit kicked out of me today. Here we are, back here again. It's one big, like, puzzle circle. But I lost the, uh, I lost that guy, which means I can... Oh. Okay. Well, I need a key to open this. Can I guess this is a dead end. There's no invisible... There's no getting through it with, uh, my illegal skills now. Don't come alive. All right, only warning. Fuck, I need a magnet. Where am I gonna get one of those? Or something else that's pure metal. Oh. Think this is enough? No. Where the hell am I gonna get all the way up there? It's just not gonna happen. Not like this. There we go. I just wish the flashlight lasted longer, dude. That's all. Oh my god, optimal. Actually, almost optimal. Almost optimal, I need to put it on the other side. Shit! I don't even know if this is a real place I can go. Feels like it. It is, I see a living thing up there. It's just a little tricky. You gotta be kidding me if this falls all the way, I'll scream. So hard to see with the flashlight. Ah. 
I'm still not high enough. No! I fuck this, dude. This is this will let this will go through. Okay. I need to find something metal to take through there. Ha! Look at you. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wait. There might be something metal in there. I don't know what this is. It sounded like metal. Where'd it just go? I got some like tiny metal thing. Give me that. Stop! This isn't metal. Look how I had something for a minute and I just dropped it. Damn it, dude. I was close to. I almost had it all figured out. And I blew it. I think I am supposed to climb out of this place. Not that way. But I am going to take this sofa, because this will help with climbing out of the office. If we use everything at our disposal in the corner, it doesn't matter if the fucking bookshelf falls over. This is going to be so much stuff, we can just, we'll just be able to get out. Okay. Time to start stacking. Boxes. Boxes and everything. I just wish I could see better. I should have grabbed that lamp. Getting close. You load bearing? You were. Uh, well, I know one thing that doesn't need to be at the fucking. I feel like this is not what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? But. When it's right there for me, how can I deny it? Oh, come on. This is not the right way to do this. It's just, is that metal? What is this thing? It's a plate. There's no way I'm supposed to do that. There's just no way. Stop. I never went this whole fucking way. And that's probably why I'm having trouble figuring out what to do right now. Because it's pro- Oh boy. Oh boy. I just made this much harder. Eh! I lived. <laughs> There's a little more than that to kill a cowboy. Yep. Think I'm a fool? Yeah, hot mic. Hot mic. Mic's hot. Mic's hot. I wish I had a health kit right now, because I think I'm gonna have a reset in our coming up in a second chat. Oh. Lovely. There's the key. Good, because we needed that. We needed that. I think you're gonna catch me that easy, old man. That was a bomb! <laughs> I think I left a health kit somewhere over here. Someone's after me. It's a fucking bird. It's a bird. Go away! God, I sealed this way. <laughs> hey, it's me. I'll take this. Don't know what to do with this. Uh, can you like? Can you like switch to a different one? 
think I might I think I might need him to be carrying one of those. It might be helpful. I'm just not sure where I need to take him to. I can definitely carry those. That means I can take an elephant. It might be that I just need to carry one of these and him carrying one is somewhat irrelevant because I can also carry it. I just don't want to fucking die. Where am I? Have I seen any places where I can uh, go up so far? I don't remember. Do I, did I ever pack health over here? No, I just packed like fucking weird art that won't help me at all. Oh, there's this room. There's a bunch of these. I can go up all these things now. Oh yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, cool. We're gonna live. We'll go up every single one of them now. They probably all connect, even. Is there a plug in here? Anything along those lines? Ugh! It's gotta be something. Um, where the fuck am I now? I don't really much want to be over here. It seems like it's easy to get over here from that side. So I'm just gonna... The shaft, we're in between floors. We're in between the floors. That was a bomb. Nothing in here worth my time. Where the hell's the goddamn item? This room is all bombs. TV, not helpful. That's cool. Not helpful, but cool. Bada ping! Let's blast. Back off, man! I'm not playing around. I had to get out of here. Oh, this is the wrong spot. Lawrence, good to see you too. Good to oh! This is how you do it by the books. Probably how they envisioned this. That's my hole. Haha, -ha, what's happening? Where's my exit? Where am I? It's this way, we're done. I'm keeping this, baby. I'm keeping this. Let's get out of here. That's a lot of power in my hands. Wow, I really, I really dropped the ball on the chocolate bars, but A minus. Almost to floor 300, which means we'll only have a thousand floors left after this one. Ain't that something? I'm opening the doors. Floor 295. I have six house fans on high pointed at the hot stack of documents right now. I think it's cooling down. Sorry if you're screaming, I can't hear you. Cooling down my documents. Soon I'll know my dark past. Oh, this was easy. Easy floor, chat. All we have to do now is walk from here to there.
It's a dog. It's shrimp. Howdy, shrimp. Good to see you. You're not gonna try to like, you're not gonna eat me. I'm so fucking mad right now, dude. I cannot believe that's what happened. I cannot believe that's what happened. I thought shrimp would like get me. Shrimp! Did you plan this? Shrimp didn't do anything wrong. Well, it's dark. <laughs> that it is. That it is. <laughs> it's fucking dark. <laughs> I can't see. You are not the first. Was that? That was less funny. Keep going straight. Where has this little cockroach found himself? The plumbing system? What a disaster. If it weren't for that storm, you'd be safe in your room right now. Is that you? It's disrupting everything, even the garbage disposal system. I brought him back to his family. You three have a good day. The fuck is that? Some kind of squid or slug. Octopi. Keep going straight. All right. Say so. When the show fell down in those pipes 30 years ago, never came out. Maybe you'll find him. You know, for a cockroach, you've made quite a mess of this place. Have you brought this storm with you, or is that just a coincidence? I don't know what to tell you, old man. I just go where the wind takes me. I'm confused. Turn left. All right. Is what I would say if I plan on listening to you anymore, but I don't. Mm, she just keeps going, huh? I think I see something. Up ahead. Did you guys see that? It was like a light. Oh, look. Nice. See, we make our own way. We make our own way. We're not scared of anything. We don't need to listen to anybody. We don't need any help. We'll make our own way. I know directions. We don't need anyone's help. Hello? What's that sound? Hit a Hello? Keep hearing the sound of like scratching in the pipes. Just a plant. Something's been hoarding boxes down here. Shrimpy? How's that? Oh, it's just a mannequin. Yeah, who cares? If those are garbage. We flush those down here all the time, I'm sure. We'll go this way. What's up, Sput? Yeah, stuff like this just doesn't phase me anymore. I'm like a, I'm like a, uh, I'm so, I'm like charcoal. Like my... Nick is lying to you. In more ways than one. What does that mean? Yeah, my heart, my heart can't feel things anymore, like, when it comes to horror. I just, nothing bothers me. I can't be scared. I'll see you on the other side, cockroach. Not going in there. This guy dumb? Truly not going in. Alright, it's a dead end. I'm going in the hole. It might set us back a couple floors, but it's our only choice. Oh. Thank God, some... Fucking worm right there, chat! 
Oh my god! Oh! Please, I needed that one! I needed that one! I missed it. I'm okay. <laughs> that worked out okay for me. You have a good day. Yeah, that's right. There's no space for you. No. No, 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 no! Oh! Shrimp! 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 Get the elevator ready, man! It's a dead fucking end! Dude, I'm dead. I'm hang on. You hold that. Sir, I think it's time to discuss our friendship. <sighs> Dick, do we have to do this now? Like, right now? Like, because I, 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 that's fine, but like, I'm in the middle of something. Right now. Friendship? Yes, Mr. Nto, I prepared some questions to see if you really care about me. Are you serious? Question one, sir, Ick is my business moniker, but what is my real name? Can you remember? You never told me. Ichabod! My real name is Ichabod. A true friend would know this. Because we're not friends. <laughs> I am about to die. Shh. The friendship survey is not over. You can still come back from this. Question two. How many arms do I have? Uh, one. You only have one. Incorrect! I have two arms, my suit tailor never stitched the second sleeve. I guess they just forgot. I was building up the nerve to ask them to fix it, but then I realized how cozy and snug my left arm is, and it's a fashion statement. You really should try it. No. Okay, question three. What am I most afraid of? I don't know, spiders? Absolutely not. Believe it or not, right now there's a spider on my forehead, and guess what? What? This eight-legged freak has been on my forehead for the past two days. That's right, I'm a sick daredevil. You could have seen it on my head when you met me at the front desk, but it's black, so it blends in like a chameleon. I swear sometimes I can hear it breathing up there. This concludes the Ick Friendship Survey. I'm about to die. I will have to analyze these results uh, with a team of experts. Please give me five business days. Oh, by the way, don't worry about the mother slug. It's securely contained beneath floor 295. We have security systems in place for this. Oh. Get on, dude. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Yeah, that's right. Get on out of here. Looks like shrimp's gone. Probably for the best. Probably for the best that shrimp's gone. That's an L plus, baby. It's not a full L. That's an L plus. Chapter three, a story of triumph and chaos. L plus ratio plus shrimped. <laughs> Claw three, oh, five, six, seven. What? Sir, status report. Yes, Corporal. I cooled down the secret documents. I can read them now. It took me 15 minutes just to unfold the paper, and I thought I'd need a magnifying glass because, you know, the text is very small. But I needed a microscope. The first few pages here explain the Big Bang. It really is a complete histor historic database, Mr. Mto. Your cause of death is surely described within these pages, but it's going to take some reading. Just skip to the end. Oh, don't worry, I skipped ahead. I'm not interested in quartz, microbes, the Cambrian explosions. Uh, we didn't even drive cars back then, but uh, sorry, sir. I'd like to know everything I missed after dying. So, uh, quick in 1996, uh, 
so, before I missed after dying so quick in 1996. So I'm going to kick back with a cup of coffee and read this like the daily news, but for an extended amount of time. Besides, sometimes there's pictures. Floor 307. What the heck and heck is going on here? Well, this seems like my kind of town. All I have to do is make this jump. I died. Well, we're not going that way. See, it's God's country. Right here. Oh, here we fucking are, dude. My country. Everything a man could need. Aside from, what is this? Free healthcare. In my, in God's country? I don't think so. I didn't pay for this. My country, my damn country. <laughs> country, you can keep the rest. Can I keep these tumbleweeds? Let's get a drink. Remember, chat, when you go into a saloon, the first thing ever that you should do is really make sure that everyone knows when you push open the door that you meant it. I should have grabbed the first aid! I just gotta kill this guy. I gotta kill someone. I gotta kill him. Too many of them are like half dead. I can't finish one. Please. They just keep getting... They keep unstunning before I can finish them. I can't finish the fight! I can't finish the fight! Stop! How many times I gotta teach you all this lesson? Have a good day. I'll be keeping this. Where was some of that, uh, where was some of that free health care I was hearing so much about? I need it now. in half the buildings in this place. This is just gas? I could have really used that in there. Ah, uh, the moon's so... Going for a walk too, huh? That's nice. The moon's so nice this uh, time of year. That's all the people I killed. What the 
hell? Private healthcare, thank God. And a chocolate bar, thank God. So I remember where the cord, like the plug I need is. I just don't, I need a key to open up one of these doors, which I'm guessing gives me access to something else I need to get to that plug. Gotta keep my eyes peeled. Oh no. Nothing else in here worth my time. It's so hard to see sometimes in this game though, for real. Cages. No shrimpy. No shrimp for miles. No shrimp. This is a uh this is a shrimp free zone. It's a bunch of Be free. I said be free. All right. Lawrence! I should have known you'd pull this shit from the moment I, from the moment I got out of bed today. Be free. Just keep following me, dude. You're weird. You're weird. Oh, you two did not be free. I, I thought I requested you be free. Thought I ordered it. All right, we'll go this way. <laughs> oh, nice. I need the one of these. This is like the most useful tool in the game. Let's get out of here. Now we can do whatever we want. What's this over here? What's this scare? Oh, that's the stair. Is that the stairs up? It's a something. I don't know if it's the way I necessarily came up, but some kind of rock. Oh, here we go. I got it. That's the thing I needed. So now we just have to get to the other side again. Without, without dying. I mean, I don't need this anymore. I can just leave the way I came now. I'm sure I will need it and I'll regret not having it in a minute. But right now I don't feel like carrying it. I'm lazy. It's real quiet now on this floor, chat. Uh, about the pictures in this document. Huh? I was born in, in 1981. I lived in the time when hairstyles were, let's say... Normal. Okay. Oh. Uh. Guess I'm good to go. Easy floor, no shrimp. Wait, Ick is only 15? Not anymore. He's been dead. Why plus? Why plus, dude? Huge. You don't age in the afterlife. Yeah, well, your brain probably does. Or it'd be really fucking lame to die as a baby. Huh? What's up? But then again, walking a baby, like boss babies walking around would be bad too. There's really. This. I'm not strong enough. Let's go this way. 
Is that a bomb? Did it a couple times it took uh, took to do that, but uh, we figured it out. I know how to play video games. This place feels like a uh, fire hazard. What just came out? Balls. Why is it making balls? Shrimpy! Shrimpy, you got to I have no idea where shrimp went there. Chair. What? Shri shrimp? 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 Uh, that can't be good. Shrimp. Can I take this guy through? Is he like pure metal? I'm just curious for like what is considered. I threw it through. Oh, it's because this is the right side. Ow, fuck. Fuck. Something hit me bad. Where the hell am I? What is this? No stack. Don't stack anything in here. Dangerous. I just ruined a lot of work for a lot of people today. My fucking forklift! Do I need a bomb for something? Sir, do you want some help? I think you have to break the glass so you can hit the lever through the window. Wow, you really did. And then reach the barrel as it flies over the catwalk. You need to stack something up. Did I ask? Cause I'm wrecking my brain here. Okay. I don't remember asking for your help. Ick. Ha! Shit. Hang on, hold that up. Ha! Look at how wide this one is, Ick. You couldn't have caught this if you wanted to. No, I don't need any help. I figured it out, thanks. Without yours. I already figured it out, Ick. I don't think that's the right way. I can't see anything this way. I should figure out where this is going before I, like, use it. This is the donut corridor, which leads to a hole! Alright. Uh, I'm guessing we gotta take it this way. Because the other way is probably also a hole. Ow! Fuck! Don't touch those beams. Did I ever check what was in here? Okay, that's that. We don't want to do that. Oh, This sucks. I don't even know where I'm going. Where am I going? <laughs> where? Fire! Oh my god. Ah! I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just gonna get off here for a second. No! Oh. And that's the thing I need to use. Okay, cool. As long as it doesn't kill me, we'll be okay. Health kit, thank God. That was scary. Why did I get on this? That was embarrassing. Wait, I don't have the power to get in this. It goes too fast. 
Okay, so there's something else I need to get. Let me try going over here. Hup. Hup. Wait, no, but this is... Oh, I can break this. Okay, cool. Oh, that's something metal. That's something that's pure metal. Where the fuck am I? I just, this is so much. But I'm, I mean, I'm fucking good at the parkour in this game, dude. I'm a master. I gotta get that. Dude, nailed it. Oh, apparently this is not true metal. Which I just learned today. So I actually needed it because it was gonna pop out on this side so I could throw something at this thing. So I just fucked it up. Oof. A major fuck up. Wait. Ah, damn it! I gotta go all the way back. Which is apparently a lot easier than getting there in the first place. Okay, I can do this. Yeah, this ain't hard. Hop. Yep. Yep. Hop. Yep. What? I'm so fast. I'm so fast and so good. I'm waiting for my order. Still. Thank you. I just wanted the med kit. Does this do anything for me now? Where does this even- I need to be able to see. That's another hole of death. This is such a labyrinthian maze system, dude. Clearly this goes to here. Oh, there's the key. All right, we're doing everything right. We're doing everything- we're doing everything the way we should be. Now we have the key. Which means I can go look for where the fuck the key goes again, which I don't remember. But it feels like it's somewhere this oh this way. In the donut zone. These donuts do coil around. Let me check over here quick. Okay, I'm getting my bearings. Yeah, we won't go this way. No, we don't. Donut this was a bad zone. Donut zone was bad. We wanna go this way. Now we go back this way and over this way. Crisscrossing through the really bad zone right here. One more try. Bada bing. To here. So we can go to control and activate the. And activate the. And activate this right here. Okay. So let us open this gently. And then let us open this gently. Which will let us activate this emergency lever. I should check something before I activate this and probably set off like a horrible alarm system. That is my thing. That is where I need to go. I cut the power. No biggie. Now what the hell is this thing? I think we can just leave. I kind of want to turn the power back on. I feel like it's easier to get out of here with it on. Nope, doesn't seem like it wants to. I think I ruined the place for everyone. Well, I can't fucking see with that thing, so we're not gonna be using it. Come on, chat, let's uh, grab some donuts on the way out. I might as hang on, I'm getting a call. Mr. Nto, did you disable the power on that floor? Yeah. Well, I'm detecting signs of life there, but I'm not finding it on the cameras. You have cameras? Of course, but they're microscopic, so don't try looking for them. What, don't believe me? Did you think my hotel wasn't at the cutting edge of security technology? That's a bold assumption, sir. Anyway, sir, I don't think this creature is anything you've seen before. My readings tell me it contains gunpowder, rage, and athletic strength. Which leads me to believe only one thing. What? It's a jack. I call these jacks because they like to hide. Absolute scoundrels. In boxes? Yes, and other things too. God knows how they fit. 
What do I do? My recommended course of action is running and screaming. This has not been tested, but theoretically, if executed correctly, it should result in your escape. Okay, I got it. Best of luck, Mr. Umto. We're fucking light. Which way do I go? I don't remember which way I went. So keep going this way. Hello? Hello? My fucking flashlight just went out. What the hell was that? Oh, that's the way we gotta go. Hello? What the heck is that thing? See you later. <laughs> you have a good day now, man. For real. Yes, yeah, simple as that. Why do I keep getting E minuses? Why do I keep getting E minuses? Why do why 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 the E minuses? Four, three twenty one, three thirty. God damn it. I'm still reading the document of all history, sir, and I admit the future is not how I thought. I mean, it's the past, of course, but for me, it's the future. What about it? I thought after I died, they'd be traveling through space, but everyone's hangry in the smashing windows. I'm sure it'll get better. It gets better, right? History has its ups and downs. Oh, uh, no, it gets pretty. It stays, pr it stays bad. No? How, how can it get worse? I'm sure they'll all be skating on hoverboards in space and uh, cloning themselves or whatever they like to do in the year 2062. By the way, I have to ask, since we may already have our answer to the mystery of what killed you, Mr. Mto, by any chance, did that global pandemic put you in the ground? Uh, no. No? You're absolutely sure? I was a small child then, so this guy dies in the future. Our future. Very well. Uh, back to reading for me. What about the friendship survey? Results are still pending! Uh, we're not friends. Uh, spoiler alert. I don't think we're friends. Topical? Chat, is it topical anymore if it's been happening for three years? Though, is it like a, ah, this is a topical, it's happening right now thing anymore? Now it's just kind of like a permanent fucking spot. <laughs> It's not like this is like happened a month ago. This is like a it's been here all along, dude. Oh, we got eggs again Welcome to the upturned aquarium Thanks. Oh, oh my fucking god You filthy freak What are you some kind of freak? Stop it. I said stop it Stop it now. I said knock it off. You dead yet? He's dead. You're alive! Stupid. Horrid beasts. Horrid beasts. I'd like one ticket. I can't, I don't think I can actually get one. Ooh, med kit. So what's, uh, what's the deal with the aquarium? Here you'll see rare species for Maglubu Globus. They're very real and live fish, I assure you. Wow. Do something! Come on! Do something! Do something! Move! Move, man! Are you? <gasps> I love him! And 
there's Bowl in the Whale. He loves visitors, especially when they purchase from our gift shop. I love Bowl in the Whale. I love Bowl in the Whale. I love him. <laughs> I love him. Uh, this part of the place is honestly not that nice. Uh, I'm gonna go a different way. We'll go. Uh, we'll go into this nice uh, zone over here. Can't unlock it. It's locked. Okay, we'll go uh, this way. And the switch to those fans must be somewhere in our upstairs office. What kind of fish is this? The yellow fish. There's a box guy in here. I already know it. Come out. Just come out. Can't open that. And this over here is a full-on dead end? Yeah. Okay, so we have to go through the crows. That's fine. I'm not afraid of the crows. The crows have, uh, have proven to be not a problem. See? Banana fish. Many fish. Awful. 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 Actually got me. Damn it, dude. Did you know the water used in our fish tanks is pure, is so pure and clean we also filter it directly into our drinking water? So efficient. hey -o. Oh, there's my, uh... There's my key. I need that. Here's our famed water slug exhibit. Such a beautiful specimen. Lawrence, could you shut the <clears throat> hell up already? I need this chocolate. Let me get that. Uh, yeah, I should let me get this. I, I might need a way out of this. Thing. I might like stack some boxes to get there. Don't, please don't, sir. Sir, please stop following me now. Okay, let's uh, let's stack some. Uh, they're all. Fa it's all fans, top to bottom. It's all fans. There's nothing to stack that ain't fans. Oh, we can climb on this ledge. Okay, we're going in. Huh. That is not a public pool. It's fine, it's fine. What a beautiful, what a beautiful encounter with nature. It's, 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 turned out to be. it's like a dog that's sticking its face out the fucking window of a car. <laughs> Out of here. Wait a minute. I'm keeping this. I can't see where I'm going. I give up with it. The special glass we use for our aquarium tanks is indestructible, but I'm sure you've already noticed. Oh, yes, I've been trying to break into many. I hate to brag. I keep thinking a box guy is about to show up and like try to. Did that fucking guy just break out of the water? Like it was nothing? He did. But I did get a chocolate bar. Now for all we know, we could be carrying around one of the box guys right now. In our hands. Stop. Stop. Stop being alive. Thank you. I know one of you is evil. Just come out. All right. I fucking knew it. You're dead. You're gonna die by my hands. Crow attack. And there's more where that came from. Crow attack. Okay. And then box attack. I can't see him in the darkness. Oh, oh God. Crow attack. 
That's right. And another. Now perish. I'll be keeping this piece of meat for later. No! No! I'm not okay with this. They got rid of the whale. I saw him. He turned into that fucking face. I saw it. Don't you fucking even bother trying to pull one over on me again. As the fans off. Berserker. Stop. He deserved it. They fucking stole the whale. They li they had it coming. Dude, it's like when you play prop hunt for the first time and you just don't know how to hide well. So you do like this. You fucking, you're like the middle of the room fucking fr refrigerator or some shit. Like it's like that level of hiding. These fucking guys. We got every chocolate bar, baby. They were the whale. No, no, no. I think that thing took the whale. I need to go that way. My medical supplies. Ah, uh, I see. This is clever. This is actually quite clever. Hey, this is it. take my priceless medical supplies. Now throw it. Thank you. What was that hanging from the ceiling? Oh, that was the fan. All right. There it is. We got what we came for. Let's leave. I feel like we've earned a rest. They're gone. Even the whale's gone. I guess the whale was a monster. That's. We're leaving. Everyone, come on. What the fuck is the whale? Oh, 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 oh. You have a good day. Can't believe he was evil. You didn't buy anything from the gift shop. I don't have any money. But I got every chocolate bar, and that gets me a good rating, right? Unlocked bonus floor 77. S plus, baby! S plus! S plus! There's bonus floors. That's cool. Sir, are you okay? The lights went out down there for a few, and I didn't know where you were. No, I'm never okay. Oh, you'll be fine. Such a drama queen. Anyway, I've read more of the historic document. You won't believe what happened after 2022. Well, actually, you will believe it because you lived through it, but that's besides the point. After the pandemic, all nations came together and achieved world peace. Then they solved world hunger, and it's only 2026. Through scientific breakthroughs in quantum technology, they've created the first human teleportation device, but they don't even need it because everybody drives helicopters now, and that's just more fun. It says here, famous engineer Nitli Haldentooth defeated traffic by making fusion-powered helicopters accessible to the average consumer. Also, they're beginning to reverse the aging process, but that's just a footnote here at the bottom of the page. You know all this, but you know all this. Anyways, sir, I have an idea about your mystery. The document says here there were a few chopper-related fatalities. Uh, do you think you were one of those unlucky ones who got sliced up by helicopter's blades? I died at home. Oh, I forgot that detail. Forgive me. That's right. I died making beans and rice. I don't think helicopters can fit indoors. I'll update you when I have more to speak of. By the way, sir, I'm detecting increased amounts of activity on that floor. You might want to tighten that hat of yours and crack your knuckles. Take care. Bye. I, I, I died I died eating a bean. I died eating beans. Here we go. This uh 
was kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about this one. But I do need a new TV. Damn it! I don't need this anymore. You can have it. Hello? Hello? Well, at least I'm getting lots of chocolate bars. It feels like it must be a short-ish floor. No. No. There's so many of them. What am I to do? But bully one at a time. And watch as they just blow each other up. These guys are very easy to kill, it turns out. They're kind of actually pathetic. Don't ever come near me again! Is one of you... not dead? Or did I manage to glitch you out of the fucking room? Man? Yeah, this sounds like me. He escaped. I have to... Oh my god, there's so many. Which one was I on? Bombs, no. Furniture production. The match. I have to reload it. I'm okay. Let's avoid that room. I don't think I need it. This isn't a demo, this is the full game chat. I am playing the full game. At least we can get that TV again now. We'll get it, we'll get it when we leave. Hey. You guys uh, got a key somewhere? Wait a minute, what the hell is all this about? I keep seeing that picture. Chocolate bar, we're taking that. That's what I fucking thought was gonna happen. What do I do here? What do I do? What do I do? They're after me. What do I do? I'm just looking for the fucking plug. I don't care about the rest of this. The chocolate bars are cool and all, but I don't really care about them. Don't even need to go in there. I don't care. I don't care about the chocolate bars. We're not gonna- look at how many levels there were. I'm never gonna do all the bonus levels either. There's just too many. There's too many for me. Good deal for all of you. Not good for me. I keep seeing this pain. Lawrence, you gotta fuck off now! And your friend! For real. This room's just bombs. Don't need it. Don't need it. This room's locked. Are you being attacked by the fucking mannequin? Alright, where the hell's my fucking key? Another one of these. What do these mean? What do these strange things all mean? Curiouser and curiouser. Chocolate bar in here, not of any use to me. I think I'm going to carry one of these around, one of these uh, paintings around. Oh. I get it too. I get it too. I get it. Was there a painting in this room? I don't think there was. We're looking for rooms with paintings, which now I've thrown most of them off the walls, which is less than ideal for finding them and telling what they say. But we gotta put all of the items on them onto their proper pedestals, which is hard when you've already thrown them all around. Like an idiot. 
This might be a level where it might be wiser to restart because, okay, cage goes on that one. Does it have something alive in it? No, it can be empty. Vase is the middle. I grab a smaller cage. Vase is middle. You see one of those, and I don't remember what the first one was. Thanks. Please let me go. Please don't fucking touch me. What was the last thing, though? It was probably on the second floor. Either way, I need to grab a vase, which I believe is around the corner. Stop. This is middle. We have to gently place this, or else it'll shatter. Stop. Okay. Last one's gotta be upstairs somewhere. I feel like I ripped it off a wall. Thing around here. No, that was the cage one. Hmm. I just feel like I didn't see it yet, is all. But I feel like I will soon. Duck, I'll protect you for now. All right, I've had enough. Do you quack when you're thrown? Thought I heard a quack out of it. No, yep, that's all correct so far. I just need the first one. Why did I feel like it was in the lobby? And has been the whole time. Just a, just a hunch I'm getting. Can I have that? Thanks. Thank you. Where the hell is it? It's gotta be first floor, I just checked the whole other floor. Wait, that's a second cage one. Is it two cage? Cause there was a cage upstairs as well. Is it on the other side? I'm an idiot. See, what's another cool thing about this game is that I have now realized that as it gets more puzzly, I can just be like, nah, I'm moving on to the next one. It doesn't really matter as much, because all the levels are unlocked already. Is there one in here? Oh, there is. Bingo. TV. All right, cool. It's just like something to keep in mind for like, later, if they get like, if the levels get like genuinely hard, because I'd love to beat this game all in one sitting. Uh, so I'd like to prefer, I'd like to avoid getting like stuck. Oh, this is obviously easy right now. Perfect. That should give me the key. See you later, idiots. You can't stop me. Not with tools like these. <laughs> key. That fuse must be in the locked room upstairs. I know. I can figure it out. Old man. You think I'm some kind of idiot? I know how, I know how this all do. Where the hell am I though? I'm kind of lost. I think the deer, I think that, did I not just, did I just go in a circle? How the hell did that, wait, what? What? What just happened? I swear I must have walked by it. Must be right here, yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh! Oh, it's the whale! It's the fucking whale! It's the whale! It's Mr. Ballin again! Do something! Do something, Lawrence! Do something! Hand! 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 Leave me alone! Cool. Everything's fine.
got it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate the whale. I thought I liked the whale. I hate the whale. Whale's bad. Whale is bad. We don't like the whale. Ow. We're leaving. See you later, everyone. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. I should move this box. The ending to every level's been really good. This game is extremely consistent so far. We'll see if it keeps it up. F minus! Sorry, that might have been me this time. <laughs> Opening the smarts. Then do it. Oh, and, and the doors. Floor 381. I just did that because of no particular reason. <laughs> no, I needed that. <laughs> Fuck, ow! Ow! That was the worst combination of things that could happen. I need to get over there, dude. I need to get over there. I won't be able to, I need to get over there. Stop moving your hand when I'm trying to get over there. What is this place? Like a fucking testing zone? Welcome to our glass pane factory. Okay. That's right, we make all that shiny glass ourselves right at home. I don't know what it's actually made out of, but trust me, it's very sturdy and safe. I, yeah, I need to get in here. I mean, I can kind of squeeze through something over here. What's going on over here? Do you just jump fucking through the glass? Fucking hard glass. They cheated. Whatever. You can't just break through that. <laughs> you can't just break this glass. Yeah, but what do I do? What's this over here then? Oh, I guess I'm shortcut. No, but it's go. That's going. Oh, it moves this. It turns on this thing. Ah, I see what I have to do. I get it now. It all makes sense. Just stop it. I missed it again. Maybe it just only, maybe it doesn't loop. Yep, I'm just an idiot. Okay. I know it now. Like, now I, now I get it. It just... Dude. I need you to be cool for one more second. Just one more little sec. Just, just, just one more little sec. See you later, sucker. <laughs> one thing I'll give this game credit for, it's glass is very nice to break into a million billion.
What do I do? What do you want from me? I need a key. Okay, uh, fuck. Um, uh, fuck. Uh, shit. What does this do? I get it. I just have to break this. I've solved the puzzle. How did I, how did I get down here? Do I want to keep like an item when I go? Neat. Oh no. Oh, this is much easier than I thought. I need that item back in a minute. Please, please. Thank you. I got the key. Let's just go. Let's just go somewhere. Some chocolate. I don't really care about the chocolates. I'm never gonna get all of them. I'm just not good enough. Hang on, I'm getting a call on my phone. <laughs> Sir, have you found the power plug yet? Yes. Oh, good. Then hurry to the elevator. I just saw three pops of lightning outside. The whole place shook. I thought, what? Man, I think he's dead. He's finally dead. I think it might be over. That's fine, I'm getting out of here. Oh my God, I don't know the way out. Man, anyone? Why are they all? Shrimpy! Shrimp! Ah, oh, good to see you, buddy. Go fetch. Oh no, yeah. Oh my god. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go, man. Shrimpy. Shrimp, I don't know how to tell you, but there's just no space. I can't let you come with me onto the elevator. This is goodbye. That's better than an F minus. It's better than an F minus. I can take an F plus. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. After everything else has happened today, I'll take it. You guys think we'll make it to 400 before the fucking elevator breaks again? Yeah, right. Arcade floor, baby. This is where all the magic happens. <sighs> This is the, this is, oh, here we go. <laughs> that's me. That's, that's me. Run. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Stop! I don't think I got that chocolate bar. Hang on, I'm getting a call on my phone. Sir, status report. Yes? This document says that in the year 2035, we learned how to augment our bodies to breathe underwater and withstand high pressures and cold like superheroes. The history of the human race just keeps getting better. We can explore the deep abyss without need for a vessel and hike up the Alps without stopping to catch our breath. Well, at least they can. We're dead. But sir, how could you have died in the middle of that utopia? I don't know, beans. Never mind, I'll find out soon. Balloon. Wow, I love balloon. Epic beam label. Damn, that balloon's got some fucking bulk, dude. Listen to that. Come on. Listen to this sound. Damn, balloon. The whole fucking place shakes. I don't think I can go that way. 
Those laser guns pack a punch. Be warned, however, they seem to overheat at the... They seem to have the slightest overheating problem. What does that mean? It's fun. Why would I need it? I see them. Lawrence? Are they all dead? See, I'm more confident, though, killing Lawrence's with my normal punches, you know? Like, this is nice. That's gonna blow up. Well, it got him. This thing's strong as hell. This thing is strong. I'll give it that. Where the hell do I go, though? <laughs> What's up? Move now or get ready to die. Okay, I can't just... Can't just do that, apparently. Can't just kill the guys. <laughs> that was fun. Sink it. That's just like me in real arcade. I'm gonna try to sink this one. Fuck yeah! Yes! That is me. And don't come back! some kind of stink in this zone. Some kind of water. This place is kind of a bummer. This is where all the crusty executives, there's like the like staff break room. Gamer zone. Nothing of value to me. Aside from the actual exit, I'm out of here. Not you. Not you. Not you! Not you! Ow! 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 Hang on, I'm getting a call. Sir! Is something wrong? I hear spanking. I'm being spanked by that big man again. Right now? Yes. Are you being slapped by a large man? Would you consider yourself large? Yeah, he says he says he thinks he's large. In bright blue pajamas. Um, I'm kind of colorblind to those blue. He says uh, he says uh, he says they're they're like a turquoise. Is his face like this? Uh, this is a voice phone, but I, I can hear it. I can hear the face you're making. I can hear it a mile away. And yes. Oh my! He's followed you all the way up from floor 77. How did you get here by busting through the ceiling, sir? You have to throw things down and slow him down, but then you have to run because he'll guard against it if he catches on. I'm just gonna scream. No, no, it'll be okay, sir. Just get to the elevator of my perfectly normal hotel and everything will be fine. Ow, ow, ow. Stop. Oh my fucking God. Stop it now. Get out of here, you don't understand. The huge man is after me. He's gonna kick my butt, man! No, he's trying to play college ball. I could have gone pro. He's guarding. He said he'd do that. Ow! Don't! Ow, 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 fuck. No. Maybe I lost him. I'm gonna fucking die before I get to the exit, dude. I have 10 HP. Bang! That's how you kick someone's ass. Please stop! I stunned him. There's so many of them, dude! I'll never make it, bro! I'm never gonna make it, dude! Kenny. <laughs> Leave 
me alone. Last warning. Go away. There it is, baby. There it is. Huh? What? No! 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 <laughs> you can't do this to me! You can't do this to me! Stop! Stop! You're gonna kill us, bro! You're gonna kill us all! Damn. This is the last chapter. 1397, where the fuck am I? What? Huh? What happened? Where am I? The elevator won't open. I can... I'm getting a call. Sir, what happened? Are you okay? No. Oh, well, if you're talking, you must be well enough. It appears the elevator fell down miles. Great. Yes, it is great, sir, because... Jigs up, isn't it? Guess I have to tell you. You've probably guessed, haven't you? What? That upturned in goes down, not up. Sir, don't pull my leg. Of course you've noticed how my hotel has no windows to the outside. But surely you'd be able to hear the storm out there. It's getting louder than anything else. And these floor plans, they're thousands upon thousands, and they don't match up. How could the upturned in keep from toppling over? But it's hollow up there. There's no rooms above ground. It's all just for show. Everything happens underneath. All this is to say, Mr. Mto, you're actually quite lucky the elevator fell down so many miles. You've made so much progress, sir. Your luxury suite on floor 1434 has never been so close. Really, though, we should call it floor negative 1434. I thought I was going to floor 1343. Whatever, he's gone. I fucking fell a million miles. Get out of here. Oh, that's a maintenance tunnel. Not sure if you'll find anything in there. No, I get the weird feeling I'm gonna find something in here. Something. Now, I just wish you'd wake up and try to come after me, garbage bag. How bad my day's been. I just love to see you. Try to square up. Human bones. Place the goddamn ghost down. Get my bodies. <laughs> Nothing for us here either. Uh, some medical supplies. We'll keep moving. I keep thinking I'm gonna turn a corner and just see shrimp. You know what I mean? Like I'm just gonna run around the corner and boom. Shrimp. Right in my face. But what are the odds? We've gone we've gone over a thousand floors. I'm getting a call. Sir, status report. Yes? I've read up to the year 2037 on the document of all history. It says here that on April 2037, the human race became aware of a large meteor. The news was that in a year and three months, we would be hit directly by a rock five times the size of our planet. That's like a, that's not a meteor anymore, it's a planet. That's like a, that's like, that's not like, no, 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 Sir, do you think that maybe that meteor is what killed you? No, I died to beans. No? Are you really sure? I died two years later. Oh. Oh, if you didn't die, that means they must have averted the crisis. And if you died in 2039, it can't be long at all before we learn what killed you. I'm a fast reader. My eyeballs are swift. I want to get up there. Oh. Move now! Oh, I swear to God, that big guy better be dead. I just...
just don't want to have to deal with him anymore. He was a mess. Oh, uh, where am I going? Anyways. I wonder if this is going to pay off for me. Where the fuck am I? Help me. Someone help me. I don't know where I am. I think I just went fucking backwards. I see some light over here. I, mean, I definitely went up here. Which means I'm somewhere new. Let's go this way. No, but I went down here. And then I went... Oh my god. Oh, here we go. This is actually new. Gotta stack some garbage. Stack some garbage in the corner and we can get out. Yep. This goes like this for miles in every direction. This side. I can climb up every other part, but the... Oh, never mind. I've soft locked myself. I think. What is this area? I think I just soft locked myself. Which is fine, because I have no idea where the fuck I've. Oh, what's this thing? fuck is this? Well, it can get me out, I think. Maybe. If I stack it vertically. Don't worry, chat. This game's not out yet. It's like a QA test. Maybe there's something I'm missing, like that big hole in the ceiling. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm missing, where the light's coming from. I wouldn't be able to reach it from here. I could reach it from here, though. If I could fucking see it, but you can't see and throw at the same time. I'm like feeling like maybe like something will fall out of it if I hit it. Mm, doesn't feel like it. it. Feels like I'm feels like I busted it. Feels like I've broken it. I think I've ruined the game. I think this is like a I have to restart level event. Damn it! There's still so many levels. really want to beat it, though. Okay. I think I went in the wrong direction. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. Skip, 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 Just skip it. Just skip it, I don't care. So, what did I do wrong? Let's just go a different way entirely. Okay, this is kind of spooky area. This game looks great. I've loved it. Well, I didn't open this last time, I don't think. Oh, this, I did open this. I, d I tried to open it, and it didn't work. Okay, it doesn't open more times. I feel like I was going the right way, and then I just got stuck, which is annoying. Well, what can you do? Sometimes shit just breaks. Get 
get out of here yet. Imagine not doing what the dev intended you to do. Yeah, imagine. Well, look, what caused the issue may have been that I, like, just went flat out the wrong way, but it's the the flashlight didn't really reach as far as I wish it did. So the only thing that's telling me if I'm going the right way is when I get these reports. That says, oh, hey, I'm on the progression path. Which means I know I have to go in these vents. But, I mean, these vents are a fucking maze of their own. So I feel like I went the right way. Because why would you make a big room like that for no reason? So, like, I probably went the right way. The right way is certainly down and then somewhere. I think I just should have gone the other way. Or I should have been moving those boxes with me or something. Because this feels like the only way to go. Is absolutely the way. Looks like I can't even throw them over. Well, there's definitely nothing over that way, so I'm not going to bother. I'm going to throw them over this way, which has an invisible wall. That's weird. This might be like a level where I want to go to the next level if I run into like another bug that sets me back. Because all the levels are currently like unlocked for me and I can just go to the next one. If it like, cause this is like glitching and there's no other spot in the vents to go. I did it. So like, I'm going to do this. Should only need. Okay, so the other side was bugged then. Uh, is what I just learned with this. Because it looks like it was supposed to give me props. I just didn't last time. Well, not my fault at least. We're getting out of here. One way or another. We don't die in this hole. Oh, there's my exit. I wonder if something's gonna chase me now. That'd be really fucked. Trash compactor A2. Most of these are pre-stacked for me. I just have to leave the way we came. No! No! We gotta stack now! Oh, I don't see myself making much of a change. Is it even moving? Oh, Jesus, it is! It's hard to stack! All of it's all jostled! I'm just gonna stand here and it'll just pop me out. Watch this. See? It's gonna slowly pop me out. Like I said, it's gonna pop me out right now. Just like Star Wars. Does it really feel like it's popping me out as much as I would have liked it to pop me out? Just doesn't really feel like it's giving me that oomph. But at the same time, I just simply cannot physically do what it wants me to. Did it stop? Maybe we're okay. It seems like it sort of seized up. Alright. We're gonna live! Although still getting out of here is a fucking very difficult endeavor.
ever. I don't feel like I'm getting any closer ever. It just falls back down. It's all like slipping into it. Every time I put something down, it just disappears. I'm getting, no, I'm getting a little closer. I actually almost got up for a second there. What are two more things? You're stacked in this corner, should do it. And I think I just lost elevation. I can't see anything. Please, there we go. All right, we're out. Let's leave. That was, uh, that was a rough time, but we figured it out. Let's leave, forever. Back from once we came. I know the layout of this place well enough now, we can just leave. Yep, easy exit. Hang on, I'm getting a call on my phone. Hello, hello. It's a pod, but it's keeping just one secret. Huh? You can hear me, cockroach. What did you call me? Short little undying cockroach, body of ash, throwing boxes and chairs at your own kind. Who is this? I'm the secret. You will know me soon, sleeper, when I put you to rest. Allow, allow. Whatever. <laughs> I hang up. What was that? Just crawl on the fucking wall? I'm out of here. Ah, you. Freaky little monster. Horrid little beast. I've just kind of adopted the tactic of ignoring them. Is this my stop? I'd like to leave. Easy level. Time zero. S minus. Oh, because I never went on the floor. <laughs> it's not counting it because I never went on it. I was in like a back room. Wait, I'm we're close, Chad. Do you ever get the strange feeling that you're being watched? Yeah, you said you had microscopic cameras everywhere. Oh. I don't like it. Where am I? Wow, this place does not seem like it uh, really... Just two months after the meteor was discovered, the human race was already working together to find a solution. Okay. With that many minds working together, they should have no problem thinking of one. Why are you attacking me? Take the leap. Take the leap. Wait a minute. You're not hurting me. No, it's hurting me. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Sir, it doesn't look like you can make that leap. I'm gonna scream. Ah, sir, please don't scream into my ear. I promise that I won that won't save you. It'll just make my ears ring. Anyways, I don't suppose you've learned the ancient practice of crow taming. I've actually patented the technique. I call it peck heck. Step one, find a crow. Step two, let it peck you to heck. Then, if you're not concussed and have at least 10 hit points, the crow will see you as a worthy and take a perch on your hat. Well, until you return to the elevator, but... Your new feathered friend won't hurt you ever again. Also, remember to let it stop for bathroom breaks. That's it. How do you know all this? My father was a crow enthusiast who knew everything there was to know about crows, even information the government keeps behind locked doors. All right, let's do this. Come out. There was once a crow here. They're not here anymore. I'll have to look for a new one. Here we go. Cool. Nice. Friend. Friend. 
Dude, this is badass, bro! Ah, oh, the places we'll go together, you and I. This was good work here today, Crow. Very good work. You're my friend, you know that? Here's a key. What do we need it for? There's a bomb in here, which I feel like means there's gonna be something attacking me in a second over here. Wow, wouldn't you know it? Come on, Crow, we gotta get out of here! You know the deal! Hang on one sec. Alright, let's go! Excuse me. Try to follow me now! <laughs> Crow's a great man, I've changed my mind. You're all right. They're not alive. Those guys are dead. Good. Where do I go? Sorry, did you know the wrong man? I missed it. My friend also had a tiny chihuahua. What are we? What, what was? We, what were we talking about? Uh. I am unclear of what I was supposed to. Uh. Sorry about this, man. We're okay. We'll live. Nice try. Who was it? Oh, it was one of those guys. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. There's my button. We need that. I need power over here. Nice fuck. But we need to pull a lever or something. Also, I think I can fill up my health now without the crow like turning on me. Because he said, they said forever. Wow, it's my birthday. Wow, this sucks. They're gonna follow us, crow. It's just something we're gonna have to deal with. What did that do for me? <laughs> they all almost killed each other. Sad. Goodbye. We're leaving. Oh, I see. You gotta be. F did I just get. Did I just get cut in half by it as it was ending? It's timed and I missed it by like a microsecond. A microsecond. Like, as in, I was in the threshold and it, like, pushed me through part of the map. The bum. I'd love to run right now. Cool. Now that I know that I have to run, I'll move a lot faster. Dude, you are fucking actually keeping pace with me, huh? Perfectly? Okay. There we go. Took care of it. No problem. Oh, this is fun! But it's the end of the line. See you later, Crow. Thanks for coming by. <sighs> At least it didn't do it on my head. At least it didn't do it there. Like, that was nice of it. Great! Bird. Bird. Fourteen hundred and eleven. We're getting close to my ultimate resting place. Damn it! I think the guests on that floor are throwing a birthday party right as we speak. How do you know? Because these guests always are. Their lives are so short. I call them little chucklers. They never had a chance to grow past the age of rebellious youth, so the only tradition they pass on through their many generations is the art of prank calling and hotel off the hotel office. Are they dangerous? As Oh, as long as you've got your trusty flashlight, there's really nothing to worry about, sir. They're little chucklers, but if you're in the dark with them, they'll become little nibblers. 
Oh, heck no. I said there's really nothing to worry about, sir. You're big and they're little. Sir, you're not scared, are you? You can't be. If you've gotten this far, I'm scared. No! Sir, puff up your chest and beat it like a drum, because you're a man. A comparatively little man, but a man! Tell me you're brave. I'm not brave. Tell me you're brave. I'm not brave. Tell me you're brave. I'm not brave. Okay, I'm brave. Good enough. Opening the doors. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're all small. It's just a normal... Oh, God! Wait, let's just move quick. What was that? My flashlight just fucking broke. No, no, no! We gotta move fast. Sir, I hope you're doing swell. The storm sure is. I think it just tore off a wall somewhere. I feel it in the air. If I had hair, it'd be standing up. I lost the flashlight. Wait, Mr. Edo, don't go in there! Why? Let me turn on the light. Uh... There we are. Oh my fucking god. The room should be safe to enter now. This is my pizza. My damn pizza. If you want to wander in there and keep your limbs attached, you'll need to take in a you need to take in a light. Well, there's no reason for me to stay in here. It's like a dead end. Unless I missed something. This counts as a light. Yeah, any one of these lights will work. Here we go. Alright, let's go back. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Hello? Oh fuck. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> the fuck is that thing? Get back now! <laughs> oh! Oh, actually horrible! Oh, horrible! One of his little birthday hat on! Ducks. Something metal to move through here. Where you guys hiding it? A single duck. Maybe this is enough. God fucking damn it. This is vile. This is vile. This is vile. Careful, those rascals will yoink at your hat. Yoink that hat of yours if they get the chance. Don't fucking touch my head, I'll kill you. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> Horrid little demons. Those are people's bones. Their diet consists of pepperoni pizza and human souls. Back! 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 Oh no! This again. matter as long as god that's awful that's horrible oh it's oh god okay so we need a pizza we need a lamp 
What's the last thing we need? Hopefully it's in here. Pizza, a lamp, and a bottle. Bottle's right here, so we just gotta go in there and grab a pizza. I saw pizzas everywhere. <sighs> we need pizza, we need a, we need a bottle. Pizza, easy. Pizza check. Be over here somewhere. Remember seeing me. Right here. Right? I mean, I thought it was. Past the bones. Of course, in order to get it, I'd have to ferry it all the way. Which is fucking. Ah! 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 My head! I do not know. I, I there's gotta be there's gotta be something else I can use for that bottle. I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. There's no way. There's no way I can carry this like this far. No fucking way. There's just no way. Must have been a spare somewhere I could use. This is like a reset situation. I feel like. Cause Oh, it respawns. Okay, the bottle respawns. I'd like to leave now. I'd like to leave. So I have a key. See where that goes. The human race I actually found a solution to the gigantic media problem. They're working on it now. I mean, they were. We're catching up on history. Oh, and what the fuck is this? Uh huh. Let me go grab a light. Lamp. Lamp. Get the fuck away from me! Oh my god. What did that do for me? Oh, it opened this over here. Can't bring anything through. Hmm, I think you might find a use for that magnet somewhere back in those dark hallways. You think? I could pull the light with me. And a bunch of other things. But why? Why am I going into the vents? Oh, that leaves me back outside if I want. It's multiple magnets. Yeah, I'd like to see these guys get me now. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, I'd like to see them try to get me now. Can't even get through the door. I leave that magnet. <laughs> if it won't, just calm the hell down. What I, I like, the thing is, I have not processed what I could possibly need this for yet. <laughs> Other than ruining all their pizza. Maybe I can pick someone up with it and like stick them all to it or something. Nope, they just get on you. No, they just climb all over you. And steal your hat. Give that back, you little bastard. Stop! They killed him. I could grab a bunch of lamps and pull them all in. Oh my god, dude. 
I don't know about doing this one a second time. This might be a we go to next level thing because that's a pretty rough checkpoint this time. That's a much, that's like the roughest checkpoint we've gotten. I'm gonna move on to the next floor. Mainly because we're reaching five hours and there is still, we, I just passed the thing. Like we still have so much more to go. We're moving on. That's too much checkpoint loss. And now I feel like I have to go back. Pfft, God damn it, are you kidding me? Really? Oh, I guess we're doing Home of Little Chucklers so we can find out why the fuck Shrimp was there. That is the mo that is so annoying that that's like the one level that something changed. That's really frustrating. I think this game could use some checkpoints on some of these levels. Cause like this one is like a lot of fucking aimless, like fumbling around. And uh, while it's scary, it's like, it's a lot. It's a lot to die when you're like confused what to do. You know? It's cool, but like, I think it's a little bit too harsh when this game isn't like necessarily like a survival horror game. It's like an arcade -y kind of game. I know there's like a timer and stuff, but I don't think it really matters. So. Maybe you can use the magnet to like pull the metal off of those fucking nails. I don't know. No, I'm like trying to see what I could have used the magnet on. Because I'm not like seeing where I should have gone. Okay, that's a dead end. You go over here, around here, still not seeing anything that implies I need the magnet. Oh, for this. For this spot here, I need the magnet. I need to take it through the whole area again. Okay. At least now I remember. God, it's just so fucking... Ah, it's brutal to have to do it all over again. Is all. Where do I even go? Okay, this tiny hole. Alright, good news is I, I know how to do it and go kind of quick. It's not that bad, it's just like, it's a little disorienting to do multiple times. Lamp, which doesn't stay ever. Lamp, okay. Jar. And the last one was, did I do it in the wrong order? So now I need to, yeah, I gotta go in and get a pizza, I forgot. Stop coming near me! Uh, stop. Give me that back now. Give me my hat back now! Dude, it's like, they attack you while you're in the light. Dude! Bro! Okay. I guess we'll give this one more try. I think that if you are touching the light, they should immediately detach from you. It shouldn't be like a, uh, like slow detachment. Especially if I have to grab things that are on the ground in their zone. Because I get the weird feeling I'm going to go through the magnet section and get hit 18,000 times. Because they're technically, I'm in the darkness for like a fucking split second. I'm worried that's what's going to happen. You know? I'm just going to blow up. Well, now I know to grab the fucking vase last, because the pizza has to be grabbed early. It's not like I'm being set back a ton, it's just like, I know the magnet part is gonna fuck me. Yeah, because if you do this in the other order, uh, it kills you. Okay, that counts. Unless there was pizza in here. 
There was not. Okay, so I was doing what I had to do. I just died. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Chad, this is hardly the most heinous thing I've ever done to horror games, so it's not like it really upsets me that much. But it's like, you know, it's small things that can still technically be changed before the game's release that might make it a little bit more tolerable. Especially since you can, I mean, you can already skip the levels, so it's not a huge deal. But, uh, you know. It is stuff I notice when I'm enjoying the whole game so much that when something, like, slightly annoying happens, it stands out a lot more, actually. light again. Keep forgetting I need a light for this section. Well, now I know where I have to go, at least. I don't need this lamp. All right. Let's do this. some of this mess. Okay. Grab a magnet, and now we see if this works. Actually, it won't matter here. Although I don't need this shit to stop getting in the way. We need the lamps for this section. We need to, like, pile all the lamps in this, like, corner. And before we do that, I want to move all this stuff out of here. We have some spare lamps and, like, TVs we can use for this part. So get those away from this thing and throw this that way to maybe... It's not going to matter, dude. We're just... Some of those just going to be attached. Okay, so there's still, like, one or two lamps over here, and that's all we should need? Cause I'm gonna try to move a bunch of this stuff away from this before we do it. This is closer than this is this. I can make more sense of going this way than I can going the other way. It's just, it's just a straight line through the darkness, like this. Put it right there. Lamp. Oh, well, look at that, look at that. I just took 30 damage and I was in it the whole time. That's, a, I don't know. I don't know, dude. It feels like that'd make someone super mad if they weren't doing it the exact way I just did it. That'd drive me crazy if I died during this part. All right, we did it. Oh no. Oh no, do I need a box? I'm gonna grab one. Where are we going? Okay. Okay. What's happening? Do I need to climb this stuff? I'm gonna ignore it for now. Don't know where we're going. How, this is how I run IRL. I have Skechers light ups. I hate this. Oh! Not today, man. Not just not today. God damn you. God damn you. We're so close. Leave me alone. Is there a complimentary lamp? No. I, we're just gonna leave. It. I think they're after me. Oh. Hey, Shrimpy. Hey, Shrimpy. So yeah, great execution. I like the, I like the level. I just think that the enemies need to be a tiny bit more reactive to the light. Maybe. I gotta go again, man. Don't follow me.
He followed me. That was all that happened. <laughs> that was all that happened. He just, he just followed me. There was no incredible lore drop. He just followed. C plus. That's what I'd give that level as a grade. A C plus. All right, Trip. Sir, is there something in the elevator with you? Oh my, is that shrimp? He seems to like you, please be nice for your own sake. All right, shrimp. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Anyway, sir, status report on the media, which was hurtling towards Earth in 2037. In this time of prosperity and peace, the human race came together to build an ultra mega nuclear power plant double the size of Australia. Their plan to split the media into two tiny pieces like a meatball. When it gets crushed between your teeth, conquered, vanquished, never to be, never to see the light of day again, there would be, a, there would, there they would house and construct the biggest, fattest, chunkiest, thickest bomb known to man, capable of destroying planets far greater than our own. It would make even Saturn tremble. It says here that they appropriately named this mega nuke Big Boy, and just so it wouldn't backfire, they backed up the Big Boy nuclear plant with the most cutting-edge quantum computers and intelligent AI capable of reacting instantaneously to any core malfunction. There's ten pages about it here. Sir, I'm so proud of what humanity has become since we put our minds together. We really are unstoppable. Well, Mr. Ito, do I sense? Mr. Ito, do I sense? Whoa, in your voice? Sir, how could humanity fail now? They've solved world hunger. They've achieved world peace. They've reversed aging. They can fly and breathe underwater. They're doing everything right. Can't stop you from choking on a bean in your esophagus. Just can't. This media might as well be a puny meatball. Anyways, I'll get back to reading more. Opening the doors. So, Shrimp, are you going to, like, help me? Is the floor for big people? How big this thing is? <laughs> Flashlight's still broken. Hello? Hello? Oh, look. Oh, look at you! Come on. Go catch this. We don't want to play catch anymore. What the hell was that? See that shrimp? What was that? That looks really bad. Oh, we can use these to climb up. Noted. For the future. Come on, shrimp. We gotta move. Oh. oh. What the hell's the point of all this? Come on, shrimp. That vent's open. That might be our best bet. We just need some of those, uh, some of those there things there. To climb up it. I swear, every level has such, like, fascinating new mechanics. It really is... This game really may end up being my favorite game of, like, horror game of 2022. Like, feels like it. It feels like not much is going to come close. This one's just too creative. You'll have no choice but to fight. Fight what? Rip cages. Get back when you hear the scream. I don't understand what that means. Come on, shrimp. You can't follow me. Oh. Didn't like that. Oh, didn't like that. Wait, is that shrimp? Oh, you're not. That's 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 you, Lawrence. Oh, there's my key. Okay, just gotta get up there. All right. Got a few. So let's get the. Let 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Strip, we gotta go, man! What did he tell me to do if I heard a scream? What did he say to do? What did he say? Trip? Fucking birds are coming. I have to move. It's getting closer to me. Oh, it is horrible. Shrimp? What do I do, shrimp? High ground. Get on high ground. I'm gonna try it. I got a plan. It's reaching its hands out to grab me. I'm gonna let it get close. I'm gonna slip underneath its legs and run for it. Ow, 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 fucking ow. I'm alive. I lived. That's all you got. Lived. Which way did I go? What was the way I went to leave? I don't know what that thing was, but I'm out. There's another one. I can't survive another fucking string of attacks with this guy. I don't know what my game plan is here. It's trying to dodge me. I think I'm hurting it. I think something I'm doing is pissing it off if it's trying to dodge me. Oh, I hate him. Oh no. Oh no. I'm dead. I didn't know I had to kill one. I did not know that I would have to, like, kill it. But I could just run from it. I'm guessing it's gonna be a full reset on this one. Nope. See, why does this one have a checkpoint, but the other one doesn't? That's what I don't get. I feel like it's missing a checkpoint somewhere. Yeah, we'll just have to beat the shit out of him. That's fine. We can end this. This was not that bad. I still want to push these guys over. Just be careful. Don't touch them. They fall automatically. I just confirmed it. I just watched. Stop. Stop. I want you to stop now. Okay. So we just got to beat the crap out of this guy and kill him. He's much larger than me, but that's not a problem. Stop coming near me. Fuck. How's it feel to get your ass kicked by a very small man? Meatball attack! Is he done attacking me yet? He's dead! He's big, but we can kill him! We're leaving! We're leaving now! so much better. God, I'm good. God, I'm fucking good. I don't know where Shrimp is, chat. Probably know. Shrimp's dead. We're leaving. They're following us. Shrimp. 
Shrimp? Was that Shrimp right there? I think he was sleeping. Oh, he was just hanging out. We were just hanging out. My friend. F plus. Oh, fuck. I don't deserve an F plus. I deserve better. I deserve a U. We're getting close to my floor, huh? What just happened? Trip, what just happened? Opening the doors. Oh, they just stopped. Okay. I really wish my flashlight worked, though. Holy hell. That would be nice right about now. Trip, what's up? Oh, you're hungry. He's hungry. Trip. Trip. Hang on, can you hold this one second? Sir, there's something wrong. I hear boss music? Oh, uh, yeah. What? I can't hear you! Ah! Sir, what's happening down there? Sir, is shrimp getting hungry? Yes! I can't hear you. Did you say yes? Just throw stuff in his mouth. His diet's very flexible. He'll eat anything. Shrimp, stop! Halt! Yield! Stop now! You good now? For now? Stop. I told you guys owning a pet would be more trouble than it was worth. Stop. Shrimp, stop. Bad. I don't know where the key is. I don't know where I'm going. I'm fucking scared of shrimp. It's birds. Eat this. And that. You stop. Just keep eating, man. He's already hungry again, dude. This guy's a fucking glutton. Maybe I can lose him. Doesn't sound like it. Doesn't sound like I can lose him. Here, eat some medicine! Oh my god! Stay. He is... This is heinous. This is awful. You can't come through here. There's no way. Stop, eat books. I gotta get back downstairs. Way I came, way I came. No, that's not the way I came. This, I can't believe Shrimp's doing this to me. After everything I, after everything I did for him. I told you, he's just like a wild animal. You know, this is how wild animals behave, chat. They act like they're all friendly with humans and then they get hungry and then they fucking eat you. See? 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 Cat moment, dude. Can't get my key to work. Fucking hell. There's nothing to grab. There's no food to grab. All the way back. <laughs> I can't get to the other end of this before he comes after me again. Oh my god. 
Oh my fucking god! Shrimp, stop now! Help! I, I'm s just, I couldn't pick up the fucking table I went for, dude. Oh, god damn it, dude. Some of these cut, some of these checkpoints are brutal, man. Like, genuinely brutal. Where it's like, dude, you know what? I made it so close to the end, I feel like I can floor select this one, dude. I feel like I can floor select this one and not really, either he gets left out or he's in the thing and we know what, we can assume what happened. Like, we're, we're reaching five and a half hours of this stream. Okay, we're getting close. I'd like to try to finish it before seven hours. Okay, we locked him up. He did not make it in with us. Probably for the best. After everything that just happened. You gotta go, man. And I got a new flashlight working. Nice. Floor 130. Oh no. That's a weird fucking gun. It's not the gun I was expecting. What's this one? Leave me alone! not activate any of the uh, guns on this. It's kind of makes stuff worse. Excuse me, number one. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Whoa! Just be gentle and kind. Don't do anything crazy. Most of this stuff only blows up if you activate. Don't touch the balloons either. This one's just an exercise in not being a psycho for once, which is hard for me. No, not the whale! Fuck off! I can tell which way I came from because of the sofas. Go away! Leave me alone now! That was a fun level. Keep the good grade, I earned it. Well, I just keep getting Fs. I just keep getting Fs. When, do, when am I gonna get rid of the whale? <laughs> the whale's gotta go away. 432, 1430, 1433, one more and we're at our floor. <sighs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Hang on, one more call. Sir. Yeah? Remember Big Boy, the mega nuke we built to splinter the meteor before it hit Earth? Yeah? Ah, because you were alive back then. I keep forgetting that this is what this is all for, to find out how you died. Still, I'll tell you how it all occurred, as you may not know the details. Big Boy was entering its finishing stages. The human race was preparing to launch, quadruple checking all the systems were ready. When a mass, then a massive solar flare hit the Earth directly from the sun. It jammed all our electronics. Satellites began to plummet from the sky in droves like falling stars. A chunk of metal debris, which had been floating in space for 60 years, finally fell back to Earth, and it just happened to land on our mega nuclear power plant. And blew it up? Why, no, of course not. Big Boy was protected from the falling trash. The human race isn't that dumb. Still, this caused a steam explosion in one of our nuclear plants, leading to a meltdown. However, this was quickly expertly put under control in 15 minutes flat by thousands of professionals all working in tandem. No lives were lost, no damage done. So, then at nearly the same time, an unprecedented volcanic eruption and earthquake occurred. Oh, sir, do you think that's what killed you? No. Sir, the earthquake alone was the greatest disaster we had ever known. It was a category 12. You don't think that could have just you don't think you could have just dozed off? 
I lived. That's not even possible. I never sleep. Well, I guess it is now. Uh, anyways, after that, coincidentally, our planet was hit by an intense concentrated gamma ray burst from a distant star. No chance. Sir, remember what I said about luck? Good luck can't last forever, unless you're really lucky. I almost thought we were. Then the gamma ray burst tore a hole in our atmosphere, exposing our planet to the sun's radiation like a bald man taking his hat off at the beach. Want to know what happens next? Sure. Big boy blew up. Oh. The earth was nearly cracked in two. The skies were blotted out by a poisonous biochemical, photochemical smog. Giant, endless firestorms raged even across the Pacific and the Atlantic. There were a few deaths. Oh. Sir, that must have been what killed you. Nah, I wasn't one of the, like, seven people who died to that. Sir, you must be pulling my legs. I lived. Both of them. You must really be indestructible, but then how did you get to the afterlife? Anyway, I guess this explains why no one else has visited the upturned inn since you walked in. I think my job at the front desk might be over. Looks like I have a countable number of pages left to read of the history of the universe. I think it's funny to hold that in my hands. It's funny. Sir, since we don't have much time left, would you like to hear the story of my death? How did you die? Okay, buckle up, it's story time. <clears throat> so I was a handsome teen, a strapping lad, in the prime of my life. I'd been in a party thrown by a friend who lived alone on a mountain in his father's mansion down the road behind our school. Hardly anyone came but me and my other friend. It was great. Was no one else invited? Everyone was invited, but there was a rumor in our town of a possessed trucker that circled around that mountain. He was said to be looking for... Uh... What? Yes, actually. Now I remember the story went that his truck's only fuel was human blood. Pretty metal, huh? I was scared of the stories, but I'd gone up there many times to see my friend, and he wasn't afraid of the mountain. You couldn't be if you lived up there. I got a ride home from my dad that night. He drove so fast I always held on to my seat. There was a fog, and our old jalopy's headlights barely worked. We got halfway down the mountain. That was when he kicked me out. Huh? I could barely see. My breath hung in the air. Then I mentioned it was winter. I spent an eternity walking down that mountain in the pitch dark. I thought about a lot of things. Well, mostly about a crush I had on someone that I hadn't told yet. And I got to see the stars in full force that lonely night. At some point, nearly blinded in the dark, I stumbled off the road and caught a perfect view of our town through a clearing in the trees. From up there, it was a glimmering painting. The mountain was so steep, I could lie down and watch the stars and see my own town all at once. I could have lain there forever, but then the dark clouds rolled in. I was about to get soaked. I got up and started running down the road. When I was almost off the slope of the mountain, two lights burst into view and raced towards me. I was blinded. A rusty semi-truck pulled up beside me. The door lurched open. I saw the barrel of a shotgun, but it was dark in the driver's seat, shadowed from the moon. I heard a voice. It said, I don't know, did you die? Yeah, growled, die. I was already pale and trembling from the bitter cold, but now I was pale and trembling double. It was the beginning to rain, and a crazy wind was picking up, turning this way and that, gathering up the pine needles off the road and tossing them into my face. So what do you think I did, Mr. Nto? I don't know. You ran in the bushes? It doesn't matter! Just then a giant pine tree fell and crushed me into one dimension! Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, crushed tree got you? Yep, that tree turned me into an ick pancake, and that's the story of my death. What about the trucker? I don't know, I guess he lived happily ever after. That's a clap. Yes, yes, I know, it's an amazing tale. Thank you, thank you very much. Your luxury suite is on floor 1434, just one down from here. Floor 1333. Chat, why do I feel like I'm gonna get a little bit of everything on this floor? Why do I feel like I'm about to see the greatest hits of the night all at once? This level's got a little bit for everyone. Okay. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. 
Shortcut. <laughs> it's a shortcut for later. Might as well preemptively do this. Because you know there's going to be a big leech. Wait, is that it? That's really easy. Sir, wait. Skip. <laughs> Skip. I found the fuse. I know. But you know what happens every time you find the fuse? All hell breaks loose. I have a bad feeling about this floor. Has anything attacked you yet? No. It's all going to happen when you grab the fuse. I suggest you look around for anything you can use to protect yourself. Or maybe nothing will break through that suspiciously cracked wall. And I won't scream, run like a squeaky toy. That'd be unexpected, wouldn't it? It's better to be safe than sorry, or uh, something like that. I don't care. Oh, 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 run! Oh. oh my god, everything's happening all at once! Run! Oh! Oh, it's him! It's him! Ah. Oh. Oh, no, don't spank me! Not into the room with the monsters! Ow! Ow! I do not know where I am. I'm dead. No, I did say everyone, he's not spanking me. He's spanking me. Okay, my problem is that I didn't, I knew the layout for a second. Also, I don't need to pre-prep the water because they aren't fast enough to catch me through that. Uh, I should have mapped out the zone more in the event of a cave-in. Because that's what I wasn't ready for. I wasn't ready for there to be a cave-in. I was ready for everything else but a cave-in. So I should break every glass now, pretty much. If there's glass, I should break it. There's a door I should break it. I should just break it all. I mean, this part worked well. Yeah. So hang on. It, they crash down here. And this caves in. So I want to go this way. And break this door. Where I will also grab that. I also want to break this. I want to go through here. Over here and around. Which will take me to my exit. Okay. So we do a kind of snake pattern. But... They can't cave in the windows or fuck with that, so that should work. Can't get rid of those bombs early, because I honestly think they're going to help me uh, much less than they will hurt me. Should put a sofa here. Speed me up for like a second. Yeah, we can handle this. Let's do this. Run! Do this by the books. Oh, he came from this side this time. That's not good. And I threw it over by accident. So now he's gonna fuck me up really bad. It's probably just a flat out game over if you grab me, because he takes me in a direction I'm not I don't know before he does it to me. Which completely fucks me. Like, I don't even know where the fuck the exit is now. How am I alive right now? I'm so confused how, how I lived through that. And a cage kills me. Oh man, it's really annoying that all, all I did wrong was throw a fucking box over his head so I couldn't stun him. Also, he picked a random direction to fall from. But this level's not hard, it's just if he grabs me, he fucks me. Like, I cannot beat him. Because he'll just drag me in the wrong direction. I have to preemptively break every bit of glass. Okay. Yeah, he's the only bad part. I also don't need to do anything else aside from prep this straight away right here and put something in this spot here. Everything else is normal and fine, doesn't matter. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Just don't be grabbed by him. Just preemptively grab something. I like the music that plays during this. Oh, he actually... There we go. I wanted to bait him to come from that side, because last time he came from this side, which actually fucked me up more. There we go. 
God damn it, are you kidding me? Oh, I think I did hit him. Okay, we're good. I thought I missed him at the very end. We did it. See you later. Yeah, we're done. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Oh, he's dead. This is for the best. He's a ghost, it doesn't matter. Chad, he's a ghost. We're all dead already. You killed him. He's dead now. Great. T plus. He's dead. Finally. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Sir? Yeah? I was going to read about how you died on my own, but I wanted to read it with you. There's not many pages left. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. <clears throat> Here we go. It looks like humanity was prepared, even for the explosion of Big Boy. For just this scenario, we'd already spent the past 30 years constructing gigantic city-sized networks of secure underground bunkers, and we'd stockpiled enough food to fill all our bellies for a whole year. Sir, it mentions you here. It says you were on the front lines organizing the, the evacuation. Mr. Ta Mto, that's you. It says here that there is still four billion left alive on planet Earth. Maybe this isn't the end of us. Three months passed, humanity began to rebuild Big Boy, still racing against time to stop that mega meteor which would arrive in one year. Then, alarms rang out. Hungry life forms began to invade the biggest city bunkers. We called these outsiders. In the fallout of Big Boy, packs of irradiated wild boars had biologically linked to form large amalgam creatures. 30 to 50. Wild amalgams on the front yard of, yard of our bunker, Chad. On the front yard, we got wild big hogs. Like, if you turned a bunch of pigs into soup, then that pig soup sprouted legs and arms and started attacking you with the force and rage of a dozen pigs blended into one. Heck. These monsters were capable of breaking into less secure bunkers and stealing the most vulnerable while they slept, wrenching them up into the darkness outside before anyone even knew. A large percentage of the population was picked off by outsiders as sickness and panic spread through the underground bunker network. Sir, do you think that could have, you could have been eaten by one of the outsiders before you died? Did you hear a monster squeal? Did you feel a cold presence? Was there a smell of rotten pork? I had a shotgun. Well, anyways, then a supersized media hit a year ahead of schedule. <laughs> Well, next, the media sped up and came a year early. The whole time, there was another media coming from another direction, but we never saw it coming. We were too distracted by the first one. Sir, do you think that maybe you were killed in the impact? When you died, did you feel like you'd been thrown off your feet? I lived. Wow, you're a fighter. Well, then it says Earth was split into three pieces, one of which, threw st which, one of which flew straight into the sun within about ten minutes. What about that, Mr. Nto? Before you died, did you feel your skin melting off your bones like a snowman? A snowman with bones? No. Then there is only a handful of the human race left. Ah, it says your name here again. There you are, one of the nine humans left. Just a team of scientists holding out in a seed vault deep underneath a mountain and one man taking cover in his bunker home. You held out for a whole year alone then. What? What? Then you died. You want me to tell you? Was it beans? Was it the beans? I tripped and fell? No, none of those. It was spontaneous combustion. Sorry, sir. While you slept, you caught on fire at the whim of chemistry and chance. <laughs> No! No, after all that, I just... I just burst it into flames! The beans, man! The fucking beans, dude! But hey, on the bright side, you didn't do anything wrong. Wait, does that make it better? I'm sorry, Mr. Mto. I guess your death was just as lousy as mine. I frown. I have to tell you... I can't hear you. Sir, I think we're losing connection. The storm is blustering again, and you're too far down. Before you go, I have something... I have to say something quickly. Sir? Well, it looks like it's just you and me, angry guy.
Floor 1434. This is my floor. Which means I have no more time. You know, maybe it's time you live your own life and have your own adventure. Have a good one. Angry guy. With PJs on. It's my room. Here we are. Maybe I open this one like a normal person today. It is my room after all. Wow. Neato. No, wait. I changed my mind. I want to keep hanging out. They said this was luxury. You said this was luxury! Oh! Hang on, I'm gonna get called. Hello, hello. Who are you? I'm Saul Burgrich, the constructor, the manager, the producer, the supplier. I thought Ick built the hotel. That Mr. Ichabod is merely my representative. He made the upturned in a reality, then I turned it into a dream. I promised his safety, I promised to make his hotel last forever. All that in exchange for ownership. He lied to me. Now this hotel is mine to grow into infinity like a weed's root taking a hold of the earth. There will always be a vacancy. Every room will be someone's tomb in the hotel's capacity without limit. Allow, allow. I'm yawning. It's been seven hours. It's been like six hours or something on stream. Are you mocking me? You found that this hotel in the afterlife was in heaven, but you descended anyways. You've always held a reservation deep down here. Everyone makes their own. I'm merely fulfilling what your heart demands. You want rest from the storm, rest from all this chaos and wind, and there's no shelter from the weather but down here. Yes, down here you're safe from the chance, chance, which threw down all your victories, which sent you three cosmic disasters like there were another postcard, random chance, which burnt you to a crisp before all the good you've done. Here you'll have no chance. Will I crush and burn you into little dancing embers just as you like? You'll have no chance. I'll even leave it up to you. Would you like to be shaped into a mouth with arms or a giant slug or an angry crow? Or would you like to be melted into a beautiful pane of glass? Ooh, a pane of glass. You're... Surprisingly cooperative. Very well then. I'm going to burn and smash you into embers and make them dance. Are you ready? This should feel familiar to you, Mr. Umto. Uh. 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 I hope you like your luxury suite. Oh. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Hang on, this corner seems to be it's kind of safe. At least it was for a moment. Ow! Oh, I'm fine. No, I'm not! Wait, hold up. Huh. What's happening in there? My fire cannons have malfunctioned. Never mind, I gotta work it again. Ah! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, it's the med kit! I need to find the med kit still! Oh, it's right there! It's right there! It's there! I saw it! I saw it! Oh, oh. Hang on. Something broke again. What's happening? I'm in the dark. I can't see. No. What is this? It's that storm, that cursed storm. You cut the power. Hello? No. No, 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 shrimp. Don't fucking do this, man. Oh. I am keeping this table, though. Ow, oh, my fucking back. I really fucked up my back back there. Come back. No. All roads lead back here. No. I died to spontaneous combustion. I'm... I'm I'm the master of extremely ridiculous chances. I'll take mine again out there in the storm. I'll see you later. 
And I'm keeping my box. And I'm keeping this head. It's mine. You know I have your best interests in mind, Ta. I'm not some kind of monster I used to be. I used your first name because I'm a friend. Mr. Ichabod never used your first name. The room is better than whatever you'll find out there. You're not going to listen, are you? I could never kill you, but I could pound you into almost nothing. I can never treat them fully. I can feel the storm. Why can I feel the storm? I thought if I went down far enough, I'd be free from it. I could stay still. But that thunder rumbles down through all these floors like the cold chills of bone. I can never treat them fully. No one really dies in the afterlife. I can never close their eyes. I can mash them into dust, but those beady white pearls still remain. They're indestructible, so bright. Death is a big scam. I can never die. I can never be free. The storm wants to gain your trust to lead us outside, to leave us lost and afraid. We can never be safe, not from ourselves. Not when we last forever. Raw, oh, the butt of the cosmic joke, but there's no punchline. Anyway, so I was serious about you going and living your own life, man. So, for real, this is goodbye for the last time. Again, goodbye. Hey, uh, yo, uh, Dick, you here? He's dead. It's just me now. Me in the storm. He was sure uh, up here in hell right now, wasn't he? I'm getting a call on my phone. Storm, stop for a second. Sir, is that you? Are you alive? My room sucked. <laughs> I'm leaving a one-star Yelp review. Good day. <laughs> Mr. Nto, I'm, tr I'm sorry I tried to tell you about Sober Gritch, but I waited too long and we lost connection. He's the real owner of the hotel now. I gave it all up a long time ago. That was a mistake. But I don't want it now anyway. I pretended the upturned inn was a normal hotel after he turned it into some sort of death trap. I turned a blind eye, as they say. <laughs> On the bright side, do you remember the friendship survey I forced you to take? Yeah. Well, you passed. Congratulations, Mr. Mto. This is a momentous occasion. Shame I left my party poppers at my desk. I haven't been outside in the afterlife for some 40 years. Now I feel like a kid who ran outside to see the fireworks. I finally decided I'd rather wander out there than be in that rotten building. I've lied to myself about it for too long. How'd you decide that? When I thought we would never speak again, sir, that was the last straw. Anyways, I finished reading the document of all history. When I got to the present time, I saw the document was writing itself. The paper was growing to make more space. I wish I could have done that with my math homework. I read about the last group of humans that, on that sliver of Earth. Three young scientists huddled, huddled together in a seed vault built deep within a mountain. Want to know what happened to them? I read it as it all took place. Did they die? They stayed alive for a few weeks, and two of them got into an argument over who had dips on a bag of chips, which spiraled into murder. They both died. <sighs> is there like a... Is there like a point to this? <laughs> oh, and what about the last human alive? She tripped and hit her head. I cannot believe this is it. <laughs> but not how I thought the human race would go out, but I'm not sure what I was expecting. By the way, while I was reading, Shrimp snuck his way through the elevator shaft, barked at me, and bounded out through a broken window. I guess he's free now because of you. Something about that thing's eyes reminded me of the first guest that I ever checked in that they upturned in. What a time ago that was. I guess that's it then. We know how you, I, and the human race all came to an end. It seems like the curtain's closing. But with the end of all human life on Earth and this sudden raging storm in the afterlife, 
like the universe is ending. Mr. Mto, did you learn anything from your life on Earth? No, it was a bunch of bullshit, then I died. I burst into flames. <laughs> ha, me neither, what a hubbub. The human race did all it could, and look what it got. A bad luck sundae with a nasty cherry on top. Except, instead of vanilla ice cream, it's probably just a heap of mayonnaise or shaving cream. Why? You're asking me? The forest has gone quiet where I am. I feel like I should whisper. The sky darkened and the trees are all bent in one direction. It's almost like they're bowing down. I can't see you anymore. Oh! What? My shadow just ran away and jumped into the bushes, silly thing. And I feel something big approaching this way. How, how big? Sir, I can barely hear you. Whatever is in this forest with us, it's bigger than you, that's for sure. You're about an inch tall. Hey, sorry, sir. I might have to put you on hold. I think there's not much time left. Maybe there's something we don't know about. Deeper than the unturned. Taller than the tree that killed me. Quieter than your fiery death. And faster than the rocks that snapped our plans in half. Maybe it's been barreling towards us from the beginning. Like a train that doesn't need a track, blasting through the trees of the forest to find us. Ah, there must be something in the air. It's making me funny. Is that even me, chattering on like that? Maybe it wasn't a bad luck Sunday. Ick's fucking dead. Wait, never mind. My, that's even brighter than my collection of strobe lights. He's fucking dead now. <laughs> now he's dead. We're on our own. We're getting the hell out of here. My bad back. Not looking good, chat. But at the end of the day, any death is probably better than spontaneous combustion, so I'll take it. It's like getting bigger. Oh, it's fine. At least the whale's gone. <laughs> Hey, chat, yeah, think on the bright side. At least the whale is gone. We can't see him anywhere. He's gone. For now. <laughs> I remember this trash can. It's one of my fucking favorites. Before it all went wrong. Fastest way to ruin the mood at the end of a horror game. <laughs> Whoa! Well, that's gone. Forever. Damn, it's windy, dude. It's fucking windy. Whoa! Maybe we don't jump anymore. All the lights are going out. All the lights in the city, the forest, almost all gone now. Won't be much longer now, till the storm takes us too. What in tarnation? Oh! What a good fucking game, dude. Like, that was like an actually, like, fucking stellar horror game. Like, not like, not exclusively a horror game, but like, that's the whole point is that it was so fucking unique. Like, that was like one of the most unique, like, horror concept games I've ever played. Like, that, that was unbelievably creative. And all I can say is that um, even though I played through the whole thing, 
It seems like at the end of every single level, there was a like, if you get all the chocolate, you get bonus levels. So like, I obviously, yeah, there's bonus floors and I didn't even like get any of them. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of content that I didn't even get to play and obviously a lot of stuff that I missed. But, uh, yeah, no, nah. I got like one. No, nah, that was awesome. No, 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 but yeah, that's, that's, uh, the upturned, very good game, a couple of, uh, a couple of rough spots with some of the checkpoints, but, uh, awesome game. Real good game, uh, which I mean, I was expecting. The one thing I noticed from uh, this dev, from like the last two things they made, Dead Cedar and um, uh, It Steals, is that the dev knows how to make both a compelling, interesting story and some really good fucking gameplay. Or like the team or however many people worked on this. Uh, and they just basically merged the two, which on paper sounds good, and I guess in execution works as well. Uh, so yeah, Dev did a very good job with this. Very good job. How did you interpret the ending? I sort of viewed it in the same way I viewed... I can't, I can't talk about it without people plugging up their ears because it's a spoiler for like another game. So people can plug up their ears if they want to hear like my like sort of interpretation because it seems like sort of adjacent to this. Uh, plug up your ears if you don't want to hear spoilers for uh, a game that I can't say because then you'd know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just plug up your ears if you care. Uh, but uh, it reminds me a lot of the ending of Outer Wilds. I, I sort of interpret it as like a the world is resetting, like it is it is restarting, like this is a full redo of the whole thing. Is how sort of how I viewed it because it seemed like it seems like a divine version of that in that like quote unquote God threw so much shit at everyone that they just got pounded over and over again and anyone that survived was also just quickly with unbelievable chances to kill them like remove them you know is how I looked at it. Did you look at your DM? Uh, Joe messaged me and he just sent me, he messaged me and all it says is on Twitch, it says, did you look at your DM? And uh, he sent me, he sent me this here. Uh... So anyways, chat, thank you all for, uh... thank you all for watching today. I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. ish EST. Uh, thank you, Hadaz, for the thousand bits. Uh, that was great. Thanks for showing it off, Tamto. Thanks for fucking watching. Uh, the Lizard Duke, five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Comments are mad. Thanks for the 500 bits as well. Uh, I probably missed a lot of people today, but I've been going now for six hours, so I'm, I'm done. It's, uh, it's over. Thanks for bits and gift subs and everything. I really appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow at three. And then I'll probably take in a couple days off. Uh, because I got... I need to break. But yeah, I'll be back for one more, one last ride tomorrow. See that? Goodbye.